The scene is set for part by night. Sheriff Eric Salvador has, well, his business received a package during the day, a black flag and a note saying that someone would like to speak with him privately over via telephone and just had a phone number. And the sheriff sits with the number in his hand. Ready to start dialing. I guess I'll, I'll use a burner phone for this and at no point point out that he spelled mysterious wrong. Uh, that was that was the GM. That was he would have definitely got it right. <laughs> Ring a ding ding. Or well, actually, he didn't say right. So. Um, yeah, phone rings for a few moments, and then someone else. Hello. Hello. Who might this be? I'm the operator. Um, who am I speaking? Uh, you're speaking to uh, Mr. Salvador. Ah, I'm expecting your phone call. One moment while I patch you through. Thank you very much. It's just a, a moment or two. You hear some clicking, and then... Ah, I'm so glad you decided to be civil. I've been wanting to have a word with you for some time. The opportunity you hadn't... Uh, well, I was hoping to have it something a bit more discreet but it seems the affairs of night to night have pushed forward the timetable a bit. I see. So, how are things suiting you in Perth? It seems that you have, uh, well, did quite well last night. Yeah, so far, so good. Uh, though um, I'm still interested to, well, you haven't exactly introduced yourself. Ah, my... the name I go by is Ductus Cade of the Knights Errant. Ductus Cade, Knights Errant, I understand. Yes. And... So, obviously, you wanted, as you said before, you wanted to speak to me previously, but due to obvious reasons, I understand why your timetable's been sped up. Yes, I would have preferred to have it under less stressful events. Obviously, I know your place of business. Um, our sire has been keeping a close eye. But it is unfortunate. I haven't shared this information with the others. This is a family matter. We wish to help you claim your heritage. Heritage? Sorry, you've uh, gone and lost me. I never did spend too much time with my son. Yes, well, there might have been some manipulations by certain elders. But um, rest assured, our blood comes from the same source, you and I. Your Camarilla friends might not be as keen on having you the sheriff if they know. I would hope to show you the true strength of this abat. You've, well, obviously ran into the Komodo dragons last night. They are, to put it bluntly, scum. But they are scum, at least fighting for the right cause. Very badly, I might add. Mm, well. Though one of them did manage to put a dent in my car. Such is their way, they lack elegance. I assure you, there are others amongst us who are not the abriadled psychopaths. But we will do what is necessary. I hope that you will see reason and come over to our side before things are done so you can undergo some proper training. You have done well by yourself. At the very least, from what I understand, you have upheld part of the legacy of the lineage. We are not the... We are not the weaklings of the Camarilla Toreador. And we are not psychopaths you may associate with the Zabat. But, well, I think if you met myself in my pack, it would be a very different state of affairs than what you have seen before. We refrain from certain acts you would probably have 
associated true propaganda with Sabat. I will not lie to you and tell you that there aren't members of Sabat who undergo such things, but we do hold ourselves to a higher standard, and we are not alone amongst us about that accord. I see. Well, I'll let you know that, yes, you do have my interest at the moment, though I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut this conversation so short. It appears I'm required to go help out with some interrogations. Well, unfortunately, time waits for no canine. Hopefully things can be resolved between us. If I cannot convince you to come to our side, I will at least make it clear that I will reclaim the honor of our lineage one way or the other. If I have to, I will end your own life. But I hope it does not come to that. That would be a... I would consider that a failure. Well, I'm still in the dark as far as this lineage is concerned, but I'm sure we can have a chat about that. Meanwhile, I think I might help myself to removing some of those packs that uh, unfortunately reinforce the propaganda stereotype. I'm not currently in a position to stop you. Talk to you again, I hope. Good evening. And that he hangs up. Right. Off to interrogation time. Okay. Well, in a warehouse, which is under at least partial control by Eric Salvador, a a night to wait for him and the prince as they stand by some bodies, some of them a torpor, some with stakes, some without even needing that level of strain to badly, badly injure. Some of them have a substantial number of claw marks. I would also like to throw in a, inspecting their bodies for bits and pieces and items and loose change. Um, they've got a variety of weapons, they have some cheap looking cell phones, they have money, they have IDs on them, obviously fake, you got my that young. Um, I wonder if the shovel heads have, um, have IDs that might be legitimate, but, uh, that's not necessarily going to help you that much. Well, I'll have everything nicely arranged on a table for when everybody else arrives. And then there's that briefcase. Fat held on to that briefcase. He's still got it with him here, though, but he's holding on to that briefcase. We still want to know what's in the briefcase. By the way, um, I believe all guests are arriving. Uh, you want to go and open the shutters and let them in. Just assume people start filing in. One little gangrel known as Adder, also known as Dr. Lou Little, wanders in. He doesn't know exactly what's going on. All he knows is that um, he just wanted to make sure that things are known. Um, a few events of the night are probably not going to be known by everybody unless, you know, he's present and tells about them. And um, alongside the uh, Mr. Adder is uh, another canine who uh, seems to be uh, drenched again. Some strange reason that he will not go into and has a, a powerful thirst in his mouth. No matter how much he dunks his head into water, there's always this grainy and colorful sodium within his mouth. Ah, you dragon. Let it be noted that Adder currently has a bottle of Coke. Just, you know, a Coca-Cola bottle in his hand. That he ever so often just sips out of in front of the uh, toy door. <laughs> well, so these are the... Um, these are the uh, 
prisoners we managed to get from the Sabbat. Yes, let's be fancy and say that they're tied up and ha hanging upside down at several feet of the ground. Rafat is going to point at one of them. The man who is in the business suit with the slicked back hair, which, well, the Toyodor might have a particular interest in that bastard, seeing as they know he's, they've got... Things are acting weirdly in their undead bodies since that one say that one, as I said before to the others, is a traitor to Clan Tremere. Mm -hmm. He is also very strong in the blood and given that he is of Clan Tremere he will likely attempt to dominate us. I think at most, telepathy should be used on him, and then he should be exterminated. Mm. Well, we're at it. I could remove his other eye. You're looking at him. You move his other eye. He's probably just going to fall apart. <laughs> actually, you're, you're, are you actually looking at him? You guys don't think he's coming out of torpor for... <laughs> if he does come out of torpor, he's just going to be lying there. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you yeah. guys said a number on him. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Blindfold. Get him a blindfold. Put it around his eyes. Double the bit. It's everyone wears sunglasses at night. Like a bunch of tails. Yes. Well, Dominic doesn't entirely work the way I think you think it does. That is not sure proof. By the way, um, that one had a briefcase on him. Yes. I've inspected the contents. He has certain taumaturgical materials. I did help in taking him and the others down. I haven't been able to go through everything. I want to make sure there's no... So yeah. far, it seems... So far, and well, my concern is that so far, it seems, from what I, I indeed know some of the rituals myself, from the ones I've deciphered, to seem fairly, well, mundane. However, Rafak clearly, even with his acute senses, don't know what the hell Bagger's on about, so once more, Bagger's being half ignored because people just don't know what he's saying. Um, <laughs> he's like, however, I want to make sure there's nothing insidious, something that would be not tolerated before I let any but the other Tremere see it. Reasonable. There is, uh, things will be removed. Well, let's see. He's in Torpor and looks like... I'm guessing he has claw marks as well. Oh, he's got claw marks all over him. Like, And I can see that our uh, <laughs> friends in the Gangrel clan have done quite a number on him. The whole clan was present to him. Fortunately, from what I understand from Mr. Creed, uh, Dr. Doolittle and Dr. Claw, they were having a bit of a clan meeting. It was themselves who... They, one of their herd, I believe it was, attracted attention, then they contacted myself, and, uh, from which I'm Bagger of Clan Toreador, and, well, put out the word, and thankfully towards the end, Sheriff Salvador came in as the cavalry, mopped things up. Thankfully we've met with no casualties on our side, though a few people sustained some temporary injuries. And apparently inconveniences. Oh. So, do you know if there are any more Sabbat than just these in the city? Oh, there are definitely more. I figured it, that was likely. We were expecting several packs. Right. Oh. And as packs tend to have a habit of, uh, what's the word, uh, operate independently of each other. Mm -hmm. We'll need to see what we can get. Oh. So, Sabat packs. At least two, probably more. And one of them is here, captured by. Oh, several outstanding members of our domain. 
Okay, I think we actually managed to get the entire pack for a change. Uh, it can cause issues if you only take down part of a pack and the rest go running. They tried, but um, a bit too late. Just goes to show you playing Game Girl have a strong back. You can take the brunt of any blow. Oh. This I've known for a long time. By the way, uh, it looks like Trader Boy over there ain't going to be talking for a while. What do you want uh, to have done with them? I can wrap them up and make an overnight package for delivery to Venice. I could uh, ensure that he's properly dealt with now, or I don't know, we can put him in your locker or somewhere. To Venice? Why are we sending one of them to the Giovanni? No, I was just making a Vienna. <laughs> ah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I would say yes. That's a very good suggestion. They have the appropriate facilities for someone like him. Someone who turns their back on the clan, not well liked. I'm sure you all have similar things with your own plans. Well, so, this, uh, your trader uh, spends the rest of his uh, undying uh, lives in a, in a little magic puzzle box. I don't envy him none whatsoever. I'm quite happy that I can tell you I really don't know exactly what they do to him. I think I'll sleep better not knowing, but I'm sure it will be suitably unpleasant. He will pay for, and he gestures more towards the shovel heads, what he has done. Right. Well, I'll have this one uh, prepped for uh, transport. I've got a box, phone, filling, so you know, all the general bits and pieces. And you can take care of the address and where it's actually being sent to. Yes. The other one, some of the other ones, seem to be a little bit more in a condition to speak to some degree. Our speaker trained. This one, he points towards the one who has the long blonde hair, seem to be directing the shovel heads. Uh, well, seems like a spot to stop. Yes. Right. Well, um, in which case, uh, well, he's over there. I, oh, no, I've accidentally left a soldering kit over there, if anyone just happens to see it. And he's all yours. <laughs> so, um, is this, is this one of the guys who's staked? One moment, Rafat says, and he'll go over to him. Um... Let me just roll and double check exactly what we're fabricating if he succeeds. So, spending a blood point is doing taste for blood. If the ice stream would open. Um, yes, yes, it does. Um, not enough to get certain bits of information, however. I shouldn't have any problem using dominate at all on this one. Good. Yeah. Right. In which case, uh, let's get that. Uh, I, this one's staked, isn't it? In which case, uh, out that comes. I I can't do a sound effect for pulling the stake out. It's like a. Nah, you you you, you just can't do a sound effect for it. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Oh, he's waking up. I need to do a frenzy check for him. Um, but not with self-control. Oh, yay. He's, oh. A... Ah, you he's just... I imagine you've got him chained up, and he is just... Freaking. Well, I'd like him like doing the classic, like he's yeah. upside down, literally like tied all the way down. He is just shaking back and forth. He's just screaming obscenities at you guys and just 
It's just nothing but abuse. <laughs> he might need a few minutes, it seems. Yeah, probably. Well, the beast isn't going to do anything with him, is it? Uh, actually. might do, actually. Oh. Yeah. I'll take your characters had a chance to uh, try and do it on somebody with instinct before. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and see. Let me go ahead and make sure I got that roll right. I've eh, got it. It's like seven dice. Difficulty seven. Uh, I get two to three successes. Oh, wow, three successes. Okay, he, as Dr. Doolittle looks and he eventually starts to calm down to the extent of he's still screaming abuse at you, but it's not frenzy. It's just a foul mouth bastard. Yeah, oh. yeah no, he's just, it, it is all of the foulness that's coming over his mouth. He, he's, he is actually still snarling at you. A base. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. will actually physically hold his head because of the old nasty language coming after him. Oh, God. Whoa. God, he's going to step back, step back. Oh, God. Well, welcome to back to the land of the quick. Fuck yourself. No, I pay people to do that for me. Fucking would have to, you faulty fucking cammy dog. So, do you have a name, or should I just start calling out random obscenities? They call me Pete Fuckhead. Okay. Oh, well, random obscenities might have worked. Reverend Sir Pete. A uh, Reverend Sir Pete, can I get a lord? Can I uh, can, can I get a raise? Lord. Can I get a raise? Can I get a baron? Or a duke? Oh, yeah. oh, that would be nice. He's just sneering at you. He clearly despises you guys. Uh, well, the wonderful thing about this is we're going to pretty much take you for everything you've got. Um, vice, my prince? Yes? Well, I was going to just wondering if... He, he keeps moving about. I can, I can just connect his head to a vice. It'll make this a lot easier. You know... That idea does have its merits. Go and move the table. Move the vice. Head. Roughly dangly between vice. Close voice. Okay. Um, Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. You got soft hearted. Yes, I do. Roll. Okay. Uh, willpower difficulty eight. Great. Rolling. Oh, look at that. Wow, somehow you really don't give a shit about this guy. <laughs> It's like, uh, no, no, no. You, you see Dr. Doolittle go ahead and closing his eyes and covering his ears to exactly what might be happening as he sort of walks into the corner of the uh, war of the um, warehouse going, oh, why did I come here? Why did I come here? Oh. This is a horrible idea. Exactly. I would be nice, but this one was rude. Roll your... Manipulation, intimidation. Two, two, uh, two. I, I think having a guy's head in a vice might be worth going with stuff. Or a lower difficulty. If it was... A I was going to say, if it was Camarilla, yeah, he's so bad. He's used to games of instinct, but that's kind of reflected in his stats. Um, I'll give you a one bonus die for it. He's still so bad, unfortunately, but it is, it is still a head and a voice. So, how did you do? <laughs> Damn. Um, he's just... I don't know what you guys got, but I don't think it beat five. 
Right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not rolling. I'm I'm just providing opportunities. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm uh, at this point. I'm actually I might be rolling something else in a moment, but I don't think he gets he gets to roll to resist this. Because let's see. Ah, that one will actually be manipulation and leadership. Well, while you're getting ready to do that one, um. He is basically when you, yeah when you're trying to like just he he's just kind of looking at Salvador his eyes rolling he's like can we do my balls next <laughs> clearly he's been through some bad stuff and this yeah yeah games of instinct prepare you for shit out of character yeah mm-hmm. that they do he's, he's, he has got his uh, fangs bared <sighs> you know I actually know something about that. She had my balls and advice, but she left the dick. Geth is still the thought, but now it shoots too quick. <laughs> well, Mr. Uh, our Rever- Sir Reverend Pete Fuckhead, and now I'm uh, activating Mesmerize. You will tell us everything you know about the Sabbat here, in, about the Sabbat that are attacking this city. I'll spend a willpower on this. Uh, give me a second. I'm yeah. grabbing the beer. And then uh, I'm rolling at a difficulty of his current willpower. It's six. It's in the chat. Yeah. Yep. Difficulty and generation are in the chat. Need appropriately. And oh, generation. I got that. Uh, and I got one success. And this is with the uh, willpower. Yeah. Okay. So that'll give him kind of going. as like, just got told right on in here with the Priscus and his um, the other pack. Tell me about the Priscus. Nagarajah bitch. Simeon. Actually, he's a. He, actually, he doesn't respond to um Davida asking. Um. Hey. And then there's the Giovanni. Well, um, so uh, I assume that all of your pack was among those captured here? Yes. Uh, and uh, how many other packs are in the city? Two. He seems to be hesitating there for a second. What are their names? Prince. What are their names? If the I may step in for a moment. And the Does, if I may step in for a moment. This poor Rex does not know. He is a okay. mercenary dog. There are probably Actually, yes, he doesn't no. know. Thank you for your input, though. That's right, you go back to paying for your horrors, Tori, or fucker. I know we you're saying listen. I have a cause of boons and fucking domain, man. It's about being fucking free. And I, you fucking poor sons of bitches. And there's an actual look of pity in his eyes. Not that I, you poor sons of bitches, no. <laughs> so, um... Just a, a moment of, of curiosity here. Uh, you, do you happen to know who I am? Not entirely clear. Well, I'm but in they're fact... all deferring to you, so I'm thinking you're under head honchos. Oh, yes. I'm uh, Prince Leon Harris of the Clan of the Moon. Oh, so you to get to suck somebody's cock of significance. Um, well, you know, I'm actually, other than being a prince, not someone of much significance, but uh, if you have any, uh, say any members of the Shamise in your pack or that you know, my sire may be a source of occasional uh, bad dreams for them. Fuck do I care. 
Good point. So, uh, what's the uh, makeup of the uh, other two packs here in the city? Let's start with the blood claws. Yeah, starting with the blood claws. Let's see. Wow. The blood claws, about half a dozen of them. They're uh, the pack priest. He's a uh, good sort. Good sort. He's a. Uh, I like him. He's a um, Ventru anti tribute. They call him the Generalissimo. Then there's a uh, the Doctor. He's a uh, Champers. Real nice lad. Big fans of the Padacane. So uh, I think they're here for the meal. <laughs> and uh, the other members? Fuck, do I care? And uh, the uh, other pack, what was it? The Knights Errant. Yeah, they're real fucking eager. I don't know what's up with them. They got, um. Oh, is his name again? Cade. Cade's their ductus toward or anti tribute. Uh, big sword. He's uh, got a Malk as his pack priest. Whole fucking lot of them are honorable accord. Real upstanding folks. Wouldn't like to rub shoulders with the likes of us unless they could help it. Always giving out preaching. Almost got their head up their ass as much as you guys. Maybe more, actually, now that I think about it. But, yeah, they at least aren't completely delusional. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, hold on. So, so is that uh, Torrid or Ant Tribute, does he also pay for his horrors, or is, does he ha not have the money or the resources to buy do? Oh, man, you don't get him. He's just kind of like, search, well, actually, he would try and start swinging closer to you, but his, uh, his head's in a vice. Um, at this stage, I imagine Istvan, lovable Uncle Istvan, will be arriving. Or soon enough. Um, no, no. Yeah, he's a real snappy guy. Wouldn't lower himself. Anyway, you don't understand. You're all clinging on to your former selves. Completely just not right. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what I know about the current situation of me myself. I know I ain't taste nothing. Oh. And, and ass since the day your fuckers came to me. So, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These eyes just kind of roll towards your fat. We're looking for his sort. But, uh, we got a little over eager. But you guys did the trick just right. Little trick the uh, the boss can do. Bricktop's got all sorts of fun things in his bag. Oh, I'm certain he does. What? What are we doing again? You can see a bunch of people suspended upside down or tied up. Some of them with stakes. Some who, a lot of them who have a lot of claw marks and just knife wounds. One of them has his head in a vice, and he's well. You heard him. <laughs> you'll you'll notice that um, if you come in, if you come across any, uh, there's a coke can in there, plenty of blood, just vomited up. Ed had an accident. Oh, okay. his swan has his bag. So, what so everybody you knows this. Bag. Excellent. What? He's got his bag with him. Uh, so, um, what do you know about the uh, the necromancers, the Nagaraja and the Giovanni? 
Necromancer. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Nagaraj bitch. I don't know what pack she runs with. Fucking, I don't know, never seen her before, but apparently she knows people from way back or something. Somebody who knows the Priscus. The Giovanni. I don't know, they were hired on. Apparently something about some big hoodoo priest or something in this area. <laughs> You'd help lock him down. Hey, Kevin, can you roll um, my occult for uh, Priscus? Yeah, what's your intelligence occult? That'll be six dice. Six dice. Not bad. Might as well roll my own since... Difficulty is going to be of eight. Oh. Um, I'm just assuming. I've, I've had it previously I'm identified to me. It's, it's fans already. Uh, you've already seen it already rolled before you said that. Uh, it's like got four successes. <laughs> anybody, nice. who's, anybody who gets a success would know it's a high up Sabbat title. Somebody who's getting three or more success would know it's actually. It would not necessarily be a title. It's kind of on the level of a Seneschal, or definitely kind of on at least level of Primogen. You could arguably say it's, the Sabbat system is weird to you guys. It's very alien. Um, but it could be somewhere between level of Primogen and Archon. There's that much variance. It seems to depend on the specific individuals. Um, sometimes they're given uh, more freedom than others. Sometimes they're attached to a particular city, but they help with the... Uh, Basically, this guy would likely potentially be assistant to the head of the Sabbat city, or a the head honcho of the Sabbat on the continent. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, and he dropped. Yeah, well, he, he knows what he does. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Honestly, you've been uh, of some use to us. Thank you. Would Sheriff Salvador like to roll his perception alertness, reducing the difficulty for your dots in security for this domain? Sure, sure. Uh, one, two, three. Um, you start getting a few phone calls and text messages from different people who are supposed to keep an eye on one or two different things for you. Um, there's, they're trying to be subtle about it, but there's a large group of armed people moving into the edge of your domain now. Yeah, it's got an update for you. Uh, there's at least a dozen. Um, actually, you're, you're actually you get more reports. This is looking like about two dozen. Yeah, guys, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, phone's phone's going. The people I set up to you, kind of you know, keep an eye on the area. You know, like those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we 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 got trouble. Of course we do. All right. Um, well. This one has been useful, and I think his usefulness is now gone. Uh, any of the others that are likely to be useful? In fact, not so agreed to war, although he doesn't seem terribly convinced towards um, the guy who the previous night had a Tommy gun. All right. Uh, about how long do you think we have until uh, they're likely to be here? Whereabouts were they uh, spotted? How many minutes away? They're, they could be here within next 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how quickly they're going. 10 to 20 minutes, so you got five. It's yeah. Tom is putting on all of his gear. All right, so... Um, oh, uh head on over to the guy with the who the guy who had held the Tommy gun and uh, yeah let's uh, pull out the stake and step in quickly Dr. Doolittle you might want to start calling some friends 
Uh, just direct me to the roof. Are we defending this place? It's a reasonably good location that's defensible. There's nowhere within five minutes that would be suitable. All right, I'm going on the roof. I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not a fighter, but I'll go ahead and support you with uh, flocks of seagulls. <laughs> seagulls can be fairly nasty. <laughs> So uh, Adder, for his part in this particular combat, is just going on the roof, going to do the animalism and shaman thing, and try to bring as many of the uh, birds of flight to himself in preparation for this, oh dear god. Hey. Hey, Salvador. <clears throat> no question. You get any of like, really, really, really nice suits of armor. I can't go fast, but... I think I'm just going to keep taking hits in this one. Uh, I'll have to open up a storage crate for you. Oh. Um, this stuff is for my little project about supplying the police. You know, warehouse. I store my stuff here. Is that all right for you, um, uh, fantastic, Kevin? Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, best. I yeah. take this. That's okay. Yeah, but, okay, cool. Rafat's going out with care. Apparently and we're standing. He doesn't look thrilled with the fact that there's... Well, did you say that there was two dozen coming? Yeah, two dozen. Yeah, he doesn't look thrilled at the fact that it will be out number four to one. Defensible position or not, he's, he doesn't look terribly pleased. You know, and, uh, you, know, Le you know, Leon turns to Eric's like, I will admit that... Well, I never actually fired in anger, but if you have a sidearm of some sort, I have some training. Good, good. Is, is that the print? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Rolling for a fat blood potency. Colin, 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 Colin. Yep. Okay. Um, so anybody who doesn't pop with this one before, he has uh, two swords over his shoulder. Um, on his hips are two heavy revolvers. He has a drum-fed shotgun flung around him, like on a, on a strap. Uh, he has some dog daggers on his hip. And he looks like he's a bear for war. Oh, also, he's grinning really, really big. That will be blood buffing. Yeah, um, this blood buff stuff, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Mark it in the chat. Yep. Definitely going to be blood buffing my dex and stamina. Um, Doodle is hiding on the roof. Call the birds, call the birds. I have a Kevin, question. You can tell me if I can uh, do this without a rolls or if you need rolls, but I'm calling. Okay. I'm going to need rolls. Um, Kevin, I have a okay, question. Um... Can I blood buff if my if my if I have a discipline that brings up my levels really high? Um, can I blood buff? Will it go, or can they never? The disciplines it? are separate, so you can't up to your they're normal. Just, they're adding to your dice pool. They're not adding to your actual stat. Your actual okay. uh, your maximum keep, limits. Keep that in mind with celerity. It doesn't increase your speed unless you spend blood on it, because it adds your dex. Dice pools, not your deck. Ab so please move it. Absolutely, I'm. Rafat is going to come but back. I will be. One. Yeah. Um. I guess I'll spend like nine, nine blood. <sighs> Rafat is going to come back with a bit of a sigh. He's like, I want to have a word to you regarding these, Sheriff, but he'll hand the Sheriff a mirror and a sword. You might find this oh, yeah. effective. And Leon will also pull out a small mirror from his pocket. It's like... Excellent. Thank you very much, Rafat. Anything I should know about the sword? Look at the mirror right now to see if there's a, anything here. Um... Yeah, there there isn't anything unforeseen here. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. You're you're summoning. What are you summoning? Are you summoning birds? Yes, I'm summoning birds. 
Okay. Um, that said, that uh, yeah, Rafat will just say to Salvador, is like, um, don't swing it at anything you don't want dead. Understood. If you oh. it, hurt like hell. This bond yeah. will say. Yeah. Yeah. This one will say, do only corridors need to check here in combat, or should this bond get mirrored too? This is. <laughs> This mirror is more is more than just your standard mirror. Um, however, most of the things it will reveal actually. Oh, it would be useful if any of them end up obfuscated. Um, <coughs> he'll also he'll take out another sword and he'll hand that to the prince. It's like, um, yeah. Leon looks at it and looks at Rafat and goes, "In case." Okay, will I need to start worrying about? Will I swing the set as well beyond the normal? Yes, you will. Um, Rafat will then just go over into the corner with a few sticks of wood. And then he's quiet, and he starts mumbling. Ah, now, uh, assuming that Eric provides him with, you know, a revolver of some sort. Or any sort of sidearm, he's... Ah. So, uh, is the Prince asking any more of these guys? Yeah, uh, the guy who had the Tommy gun, as I, I said earlier, that I was going to unstake him. Yep. Uh, I guess this guy gets to make his frenzy check. Yep. Yeah, he, he's just freaking out. He's just trashing wildly. And it's not even just the folk, you know, just like hatred on you. He's just completely panicking because he's bound up. Yeah, he's going to take a wild calm down. Um. Rolling for deflection of wooden doom. Always yep. useful on that. <laughs> do, 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 as I'm looking at what I've got. Let's see. <laughs> I'll be right back and going to grab some more soda. Um, Dr. Doolittle is summoning together a rather large flock of birds, <laughs> which may have the effect of making it easier for him to locate where you are. <laughs> but you have a large flock of birds. Yes, I do. I'm keeping them on standby. I'm going to keep my eyes open for any big um, vehicle that may be heading in our direction. Um, yeah, well... I'll let you know when it gets within a uh, sight. Gotcha. Alrighty. Um, let's see, spent blood for buffs. So, yeah, this guy. If only I had Dementation, then I could calm him down. <laughs> Um, Sheriff Salvador will, through his contacts, which will be his role again, some of the group are splitting off, and you're actually kind of getting direction, getting the feeling. It looks like they're actually circling around to come at you guys from the other side. 
Smart, smart. I'll uh, proceed to spread that information. Mm -hmm. I assume I have some kind of radio contact as well. Mm, I don't believe there's talk of hand at walkie talkies, so it's shouting. Or um, mobile phones. Oh, this is going to be funny. Yeah, this is going to be funny. Yeah, we might want to set up a mass conference call and uh, put it on the loudspeaker. Yeah. Or, you know, or, you know, and Leon just goes, I'll just put mine on Bluetooth. And, you know, puts in an earpiece. Right, guys, this is going to get a little bit ugly. I hope that you're all prepared. Um. Oh, um, while we're at it, some of those uh, staked individuals have far too many fingers, and I don't want them released during the fight. Yeah, probably best to... Um, unless there's... Well, no, given that we don't know their capabilities, and we do know that they can pretty much have any capabilities... Best to end them for the most part. Hey, hey, Chris, Eric. We we both we all got the uh, sight, right? Why don't we just uh, hit the lights, it's in, go at this all ghost mode. You can see them, and you can't see us. I would be surprised if Istvan had the sight. Hold it's possible. No, is Devon um, But that does mean I can shut out all the lights from the other side of the warehouse where they appear to be coming in from behind. Mm. Oh, yes, that should be useful. Click, 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 click. Um, that's, um... Oh, um, who's finishing off these guys? Talk mm. of them all. If we need to talk to him any later, it'll eventually get better. We can put them on ice. I think we'll have other people for interrogating. It might be best in case we have to retreat just to finish them now. Very well. Let's uh, finish and, them. Yeah, and you know, and uh, de at least this guy, any points at uh, at uh, Sir Reverend Pete's <laughs> fuck nugget. Uh, it's like. Um. Very well. And, you know, we, we, uh, uh, oh, quick question. Was uh, Leon handed any uh, weapons, you know, guns of any sort? Um, here, have a heavy revolver. Excellent, that works. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, he probably also asked, asked for a box of ammo. Yeah, fine. Here's some speed loaders. Excellent. And I'll give so, you uh, another two reloads, so don't go ridiculous. Um, Nero is just uh, holding the very, very nice shotgun he got up from a very, very dear friend. He's just, he's just been he's prepared. He's prepared <laughs> to actually go down, actually. And, uh, let's see. It's like, I don't want to honestly waste the charges on this, on uh, these folk. And uh, we're just twelve. Uh, I suggest now that everyone's talked, everyone's prepared, everyone has anything that they need something. Pause for it now. Let's. Oh, I know this warehouse fairly back to front. There are some nice little hiding spots. Let's uh, get a little undercover. I'll turn the lights off uh, over these people so they can't exactly be seen. Now, so we'll track them further to the roof. Hmm? So you guys aren't killing those guys? I thought we were. This one, yeah. this one asks, uh, do these still have blood? This one will feed back up and then decapitate the one so he does not like it anymore. Cool. Works for me. Yeah. That's, that's workable. Okay, cool. So I'm going to feed on these Sabat dudes. I'll take a little bit from each so I make sure not to diabolize somebody. Yep. Yep. And then there's like whoever I feed off of, I kill them. <laughs> there, there's, there's enough blood in them for uh, very simple. Actually, um, yeah, actually, there's if there's enough blood, yeah, I might 
uh, drink from one or two of us. <laughs> Sorry, uh, after having to deal with that Tremere last uh, night, I've unfortunately lost my appetite. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nero sort of looks at them with like this black dog. Are you going at any modern music or anything? Are you for reals? But all that's coming out is a yeah, 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 nothing but ash. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, you got you too then. Um, let's let's shove that bastard in a random shipping crate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you're wait. Who are you putting into a shipping crate? The Tremere. Oh no, Rafat's killing him. Oh, okay. You no, know, if, if 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 there's any chance we have to retreat and can't bring him out, he's like he dies. Rafat would rather send him off, but it's like Rafat's just fucking cutting his head off. Uh, take his teeth and then send those off, saying, "Yeah, we got one." Thank. You. One less traitor. Rafat looks pretty happy. You, you've never really seen Rafat smiling, kill it well. Not very often do you see Rafat happy to kill him, but he's happy to kill this bastard. Oh yeah. By the way, I'd like uh, people to actually go and like hide out in some designated oh. hiding spots for maximum ambush capability. Definitely. Uh, find some place, and he'll even ad- uh, he'll even activate up to one. I'll suggest some spots for this is a good spot. This is a good spot. Uh, yeah, we're all fairly close to you. We're fairly close together, but we're not easy to be spotted from anyone coming from outside walls. Who will be Istvan's battle buddy? I want to keep track of someone and have someone keep track of Istvan in case I fall. Um, how about this? Uh, how about this? Uh, Prince, Eric, you stick together. Sir, new guy, you're with me. Hmm. Heaven, cool. do be proud. Um, Istvan, do be proud. We've been practicing a lot. I'd like to see how that transfers to real combat. Who, who am I with? Who? Uh, PJ, you're with me. Okay, uh, hey, you good? You are good at fighting? Like, you, you talk to a man with a huge shotgun and full red here. Well, if, he, if he's not prepared, he's prepared now. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. We'll give a hearty clap on the shoulder and say, it is time then. Yes. Alright, so I... No one was so no one was uh so no one without aspects will see me and I'll also roll my uh decks and don't you know so, be a good idea for me to do about now? Try mm-hmm. my back. and someone give me a link to the damn website because I don't have a quick link on the, the laptop and I can't bring up my character sheet. Oh, this is beautiful. If only I actually had a specialty in this. Oh, just in case I didn't say it. Here, this one's close enough. Um, just get it up to the... Uh, four successes. Nice. Um, right, that will give you... Just a scroll up and remember to nice or four. It's the one I can't like straight away. Um, cool. Now we'll just so, take it. Yeah. Doctor. Um, what deck? I guess the roll deck stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, Dex dealt. Just put yeah, it that, um, that, oh, I, I don't I don't have a really thing if somebody could roll some dice for me. What's your dice pool? Ten. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of celerity. And Dex and stealth. Yeah. Yeah, you did, I can just see Bayer standing there like behind the creation is like He's looking around for Isfan, he just looks off, and Isfan's like just like spider manning in the corner the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going to take me a second because I can't put this right down. Um, can Doctor Doolittle give me a perception alertness roll? All right, do do. Where are you? Perception, alertness, gotcha. Six dice, difficulty five. Not, uh, well, yep, 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 six successes. 
Nice. Out of character, I'm really not happy for Fat to be here, but all the pieces are like, yeah, we'll totally hold our ground. I'm like, oh, Jesus, my character's going to die. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it, it, it comes when you have insightly high character scores. Mm-hmm. Fat. Fuck the card score, I don't want to die. I, I, I didn't expect uh, people to actually go with my idea of stand and fight. I uh, honestly didn't. I, I honestly really thought didn't people would say, get out of here. I, I'm, unfortunately, I'm like, oh, he said it, and the prince is like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the fucking suggested. Uh, and, and I'm just going to blood buff and drink like a bastard to set heart and have burning plates to the people I will. Well, it's like, Dr. Doolittle doesn't fight. It would require major boon. Normally, it would be like a triple boon. It would require a major boon from a fucking burning blade and bagger's hand. Um, Istvan, Istvan, he, just, Istvan's all right, but Istvan likes big weapons. That sword, mm-hmm. big fucking great big honking weapons. Uh, I have two swords. That's my thing. Yep. Yeah. So is that uh, is that Doctor Doolittle? Is that a success on perception alertness? Yes, it is. Yeah, you can see there's a uh, there's a van. Uh, there's actually there's actually um, a tree vans rolling towards the area. How fast are they moving? Um, uh, actually pretty fast. Oh really? You say? Mm-hmm. Do they have windshields? Yes. <laughs> One of them's got um, a, it's like a, a, a logo for a flower company inside. <laughs> okay. Um. And I know this is going to hurt me uh, later, but uh, I have a flock of birds. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell them to dive bomb those vans. Okay, I'm no. just going to roll for the drivers of those vans <laughs> to see how, they're, how well they're, they're going to stay on course. Uh, All right, fair enough. You know, um, he, he made a movie about this, I think. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Um... Difficulty, let's say difficulty. Yeah, uh, you got a lot of success on her, so it's going to be difficulty nine to you know get these things. Um, up. Kevin, you gave yeah. me the link for uh, the New York forum. So. Yeah, it is, but the 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 the, the, the dice uh, aside from knives, the difficulty is the same. I know. Yeah. I need my character sheet. But your car- oh, for fuck. Oh, you want me to find your character for fuck's sake? <laughs> Sorry. I, I, yeah. No, that's why I need bad. the. That's why I need the the link. Bad. The fucking character. There. God damn you. Oh, we're all gonna die. No one's gonna shout at me. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Okay. How did I? Actually, yeah. So, okay. So I've got to roll. Uh, rolling for the first fan. Difficulty nine. Yeah. No, that's actually crashing into something. Woo! <laughs> um. Second van, just doing fine. And the last van is also crashing into something. So that's actually yes. working out pretty well for you. Um, I'm sure one or two people are going to take bashing damage, but not rolling for everybody in this damn van. And yeah, that's when. Let me. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that roll with increased difficulty. So. Yeah, I need to roll something now. And you're not going to like it. No, probably not. Yeah. Oh, not nearly as good as I had hoped. Um, however, there is around the, the van that doesn't get messed up. Um, there's basically a cloud of darkness spews forth. You can see mm-hmm. it, because you're on top of the building. Yeah. You're not, you don't have Sabbath Survivor or anything. You, you need to give me a courage check, as this is not normal darkness. Your birds, I'm not sure if birds have courage. Kind of tempted <laughs> just to go, birds go, nope, fuck this, but I will give them a fucking roll. <laughs> In fairness, of tenebration. It's terrifying. One success at nine. Okay. You... <laughs> yeah, it's still pretty fucking freaky. Uh, you are not... Um, you're not doing well. Okay, you're not, you're just, it's not normal. This is not right. They, they, like, that is not normal. That is not shadows. That is just wrong. And on so many levels. 
Um, birds um, do not what have birds. Gonna... I will oh, give them one roll. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them are definitely paying for this. I'll give them one roll. They're going to have to do well. Okay. A surprising number of birds are staying around for now. <laughs> and they're just trying to assail these fuckers. Um, <laughs> so at this point, we're going to have to go into initiative. Yep. Yay. God damn it. Why for this fucking web page let me lock the fuck in? Ten! None of them doing anything! Just trying to survive, oh god. Alright, so I've got to. Give me a second. Um... I roll a one. That's still an eight for me. I didn't actually roll a one. There we go. Oh, I roll a nine. Uh, one second, I'll roll for you. I'm going on seventeen. Finally, I managed to log into the damn website. All right, four for you, uh, PJ. What is okay? What oh. is uh? What is blah? Doctor Doolittle. Fifteen. Woo. Okay. What is Harris? Seventeen. What is Isvan? Fourteen. Um, what is Salvador? Twenty. Wow, you're, you're chomping through those blood reserves, aren't you? No, I just rolled a nine. Oh, that that will also do it. Um, st- still, oh, you've got rehouse already, don't you? Um, Nero. I got a nine. So what is? Oh, nine. Oh. You're saying on dice really proudly. Um, Rafat is not doing so good. I, I, I don't know what to say, but um. Not having my uh, having armor really slows you down. Yeah, yeah, it's a direct pain in the ass, isn't it? Let's see. I'm just working out for different groups. Their leader, he's you know. Yeah, to all of you people that were super enough not to run away and actually follow my suggestion of stand and fight, I salute you. Terrible idea. What were we thinking? It was a terrible idea. I didn't expect people to go with. What do you think the? What were? What were the honest chances that Isvan would run away? <laughs> yeah, people like me and Isvan aren't the. I was kind of hoping for the prince to be like, well, maybe we should be like, I was like, uh, I'm not gonna fuck. Yeah, the, 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 right, right now Leon's kind of not necessarily correct. They're not necessarily straight when it comes to tactics. Uh. Okay, not the best instrument, so I have to work out. Let's see. Um, let's see. Is that is that we don't find anything? So far. Um. Unfortunately, I'll tell you something now. You asked about packs. Not everybody's in a pack. Uh, There's some free agents there. Uh, also, actually, around this point, Harris is hearing an awful, awful lot of noise. As with anybody else who's medium, but I think it's just him. And oh. actually, yeah... The sheriff is looking through that mirror as well as Rafat and Hersky. There's an awful lot of people entering this room who aren't there. 
There's an awful lot of ghosts in the area. Harris, however, can hear them. I'm going to give you a plus two to all your perception-based tests. Plus two difficulty. Because they're just really, uh, well, causing problems for you. Let's see. Oh, hey. And is well, something has just occurred to uh, to Leon. Since he does have his Bluetooth in, he will um, you know, quickly dial the Harbinger. Okay. Well, you can do that in your turn. It's unfortunately we've rolled for initiative. Yeah. Ah, dick time as GM. Time to party. You had there was a big gap there, and I didn't you know exactly rush you guys. Oh yeah. I agree. Oh no. Oh no. We're totally good. Yeah. I bet Ahmet can going to be so mad he missed the scene. <laughs> I, I, I tagged him. I tagged him. You did. You did your he was job. Here. Just, um, he was here. He just uh, sort of fell out. I don't know about connected. Okay, yeah, well, he well. popped in and popped out. Okay, first, um, yeah, Dr. Doolittle so can see basically coming out of the backs of each of those vans. Mm -hmm. There are four people coming out of the back of each of the vans, and they're running towards the building you're in. Um, well, that, I'm just saying, my... those, no, those are by the window, as in, that, well, that's what they're going to be doing. There's some guys running towards you, uh, to running towards gotcha. the building you're in. Um, Nero, what is your declared action? You can see there's there's going to be a guy, just a bunch of guys tearing towards your position. Pretty, pretty much, I'm just going to create a little chokehold, a kill box, and me and my good friend who's on the rafters right now, prepared to just jump on these fuckers. Uh, I'm just prepared to shoot them as they come in. Yeah, well, we just say you're shooting this turn because you can shoot out a window. Sure. Or are you going to hold back? Um. <laughs> That's fucking not going out there by himself, anyway. Damn sure it's a terrible idea. Um, so I guess crossbow called shut to the harsh. Nice. Yeah, so he's four. He's got a cla he's got a commando collapse from crossbow. He just would say after you did that ritual, he was quietly assembling in the corner. Um, mm -hmm. van, what are you doing? Um, so are they cut their they will be in the room. They are not or... going to. They're not going to be in the room yet. Um, they're running. They're running to uh, towards uh, the windows and the entrances and things. Okay. And do I have a window to shoot out of? Um, there is a window you can shoot out of. Yes. Okay. Uh, about how many are in my window view? Um, just gonna be at least four that you can get a decent shot off on. Sure. Um, I'm ahead and activate the spray and full auto them with my combat shotgun. Yep. Daka 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 bitches. <laughs> um then there's going to be Yeah. There's gonna be three guys coming out of one van and two guys coming out from another van. Um and they are taking objects and they are throwing them at you guys. Don't know what they are. Um some of those look like they're aiming for the windows. Uh then Doctor Doolittle. Yep. What do you um, think? Well, I see that some people are gonna try to throw some things at us, I think it'd be a good idea to try to uh, stop them from throwing them at us. I'm just in the, uh, as many of the birds that still remain at those guys say, no, no. And yep. if there's any way to spread out the birds even more, I try to stagger out the people that are currently running at us. Well, okay, um, do, you want to so do you want to focus on just the guys throwing, or do you want to just hinder a lot of them? Um, I want to hinder, like, half of them, focusing on the guys who are about to throw stuff. Because okay. the idea is to stagger them coming I'll, at us. I'll give them a dice penalty. Gotcha. Um, then we've got... Yeah, that, nobody coming out of that other van just yet. Uh, Harris is taking out his phone and I'm taking it this turn. Uh, actually, if people are throwing stuff... Oh, he already had the phone in, in Bluetooth. Yeah. 
uh, he'll probably, you know, he'll probably, uh, since Bluetooth is wonderfully voice activated, he'll he'll say, uh, you know, he'll probably just, uh, you know, uh, say, uh, call uh, call Harbinger, which is. I always preferred Hossie as a nickname. Um, what is Salvador doing? Um, like, well, I, I've got my advantage point now. Um, I guess one of the three people I might have to shoot them in the face. Just because. So you're going to shoot just the guys running towards you? Or no, no, the other. Guys. Okay, the other guys. Okay, um, right. So, Salvador, start off at you. Shoot, shot to the face. Da, 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 da. Two, four. Five, six. Two successes to shoot him in the face. Yep. Um. No wait. Five, six. Four successes to shoot him in the face. You're hitting him. Uh, five levels of lethal damage. back and then he just doesn't seem terribly injured. <laughs> um, then we're on to Harris phone's ring and the Google answers it. Uh, yes sir? Uh, let's see here. Uh, you'll just say Nagaraja sent ghosts at my location. <laughs> Also, we're under attack. <laughs> as quickly as he can. It's like, I go to send ghost to my location. Also, we're under attack by Sabat. My, my Domitor assumes he will be... He will talk after this, um, if we put it like that. Oh, yes. Yes, we will. Um, yep. So, he'll be he'll be on that. That's your turn. Those guys doing that. Um, Doolittle was sending in his guys. Um, then, we've got the guys general stats and these fuckers. Um, yeah, they're running out windows. It's not going to be too bad. So rolling for... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. How many so dice does the average one of these people have? This isn't soak dice, this is them throwing stuff. Um, oh wait, they yeah. do uh, dice. Sorry, I'm going to just have a different one. Uh, okay. Question, Kevin. Um, yeah. As the ball is flying through the air, um, could I attempt to shoot it at a ridiculously high difficulty? Small objects are difficulty 9 to shoot. They're really nine. You're gonna to have to get more than their uh, successes. So I'm gonna pick one of the medium successes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, can I use my all aspects to decrease the difficulty? Actually, you can't because they beat you in initiative. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. They beat you in initiative, so yeah. Um, but do, 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 do. so yeah. I'm just think some of uh, those things are smashing through the windows, and then there's smoke coming out of them. Yeah, yeah, fire, fire. So, yeah. Um, that's going to start producing penalties next round. Um, and not just for you guys, obviously. Um, then it's it's Isvan's turn. Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. Oh, at eight dice or ten? Ten. So, ten, okay. 
Can somebody roll 22 dice? Can I do? Jesus. And you were trying to hit the, the group four, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll hurt all right. Do you have a specialty? Uh, yeah, my shotgun. Wake up, yeah. Um, so as you can see there, um, if you weren't adding plus two to the difficulty, uh, that would have been lots hit, but unfortunately that's only going to be three successes. Well, like I said, they were moving forward. They were, these guys weren't attacking, so they'll try and dodge. How many successes? was two successes, so... Only, I think it's a three. Yeah. Three. three. Okay. The first one's being hit with one success. Um, next one is being hit with one success. Um, next one is being hit with four successes. Okay, you failed. Yeah, you failed. And then the last one's being hit with one success. So they're all being hit. They're trying to get out of the way, but they don't seem. Well, these guys look tough. But not in I shoot at you with a full auto shotgun kind of tough way. They, you know, these guys seem like they'd, they'd be a bit more home with a knife fight. Uh, okay. Well, um, first of all, let's uh, roll the 10 dice of damage for the first guy, uh, which horribly fucks up. Okay. Well, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four. It's four damage? No, no, no. Uh, this, this, there were so many ones in this one that uh, it's only two successes okay. on this one. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's one okay. bash of damage we yep. have afterwards. Uh, uh, next guy? One second. So he's got... Um, next guy. Yep, roll your damage. He's uh, that's also three. Um, he's yeah, he's taking. Uh, you said the third guy got hit with four successes. Yeah, he got hit with four successes. So. Ooh, this might actually hurt quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He does pretty well, but he's not do it looking too good. That guy looks a lot more shaken. And then there's one last guy. And he got hit by two as well, didn't he? He got hit by one. Oh, only one. Okay. But still, it's softening them up. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, that's gonna. Okay. Okay. Um, right. That was him doing that, doesn't it? Um, those guys are going to be rolling for friendly in a second. Good start. Uh, once they frenzy and they eat all the other opposition, we will um, go and finish everybody off. <laughs> and then team crumpets for everybody. Um, yeah. That was Isvan, Rafat, who called Shadow Moon the Bastards, because he hadn't seen the guys going to throw the grenades yet. So. Difficulty nine for the heart. That is he actually makes it just barely. Um, and the guy trying to dodge. Dodges. Oh, there you go. Um, now, Nero. Okay, okay. Um, see, see my good friend. Um, see my good combat buddy here. Lately, we have the uh, playing field. And making sure everyone has uh, taken a dodge action. Pop up, split my dice pool into um, four and three, and just chuck and chuck and. Okay, chuck and chuck and. Cool. Um. Nope. That did not work. That did not work at all. Okay. Which one's the second one going towards? 
Um, just just anyone I can hit. Okay, cool. We'll say it's one. We'll say it's the most badly injured one. That one actually hit. He'll try and dodge, and he gets one success. Bender wins. Bender wins, yeah. Um, right, those guys running forward, like I said. So we're on to the next round. Let's see. Uh, the shovel heads continue moving towards. They're basically going to be getting to almost the outside, or they're going to be trying to smash through the windows and stuff this round. Actually, a couple of them have to make a frenzy checks. Let me double check their self control. They've got. See, look, Murder Bruja's not even that good at murder. I didn't kill anybody the first round. Fuck is up with these guys? There we go. It's a proper show had frenzy. Uh, hard. Bad. No, I'm still using the, the effect for you. I can't remember what the exact rule is called, but the minion rules. The, the, the shovel heads get four health levels, that's it. They're not real people. <laughs> so Isfan almost took one of them out of the fight. That fucking close. Um, so yeah, those guys are coming through. They're kind of, some of them are diving through windows. Um, one of them's frenzy. He's just tearing ahead. He's 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 just going to be, he's not even in defense if he'll be getting further into the building. But they're all running forward. Um, then Nero's declared action. Well, let's see these guys get closer and closer and closer. Um, again, shotgun and shotgun. And then I'm going to have to reload next turn. Okay. Um, Rafat will do a cold shot to shoot one of the guys in the heart who was throwing the grenades. Um, then what's Isfan doing? <clears throat> Good question. Uh, um, none of them are through the. Are any of them in the room yet? Or? Um, one of them will be getting. They're, they're they're starting to get into room, so you can. You could do a melee attack. Hmm. I will spend two blood on celerity. Oh my god, he can use celerity! <gasps> yeah. Not just a potence, Bruja. Potence and celerity, Are you spending a, are you spending a blood for potence this turn? Um, I recommend I've, yes. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to meet him yet, though. Well, well you have to yeah. declare what your main turn action is going to be, so... Okay, I'll go ahead and spend for potence, too, just in case. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you, yeah. Um, how many? One guy's going to be getting. One guy's going to be getting well in. You you could get all your celerity actions off and murdering different people. Okay. Um. So yeah, I guess for my first action, it will be to come down on that guy. Who, is he the frenzying guy or not? Um. The frenzying guy is going to be the first guy going through. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll torpor him anyway, just because he's here. Yeah, I'm going to jump down, I guess, on that guy and just hit him. I, I guess I'll draw my swords and then just stab him with one. I believe there's a tune for this. And it goes, go, Bruja, go, Bruja, go, go, Bruja, go, Bruja. <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting additional dice for ambush because, you know, you've already blasted off a floor oh, shock. Or I'm going to give you plus fun. dice for basically you're dropping down and you're getting him from an awkward angle, so I'm going to give you two dice for that. Um... The ah oh, yes, actually, um, anybody who's doing ranged attacks, um, this includes them shooting into building because there's a lot of smoke starting to build up now. Um, this turn it's a minus one dice penalty to ranged attacks because it's mm. not that hard to see. It'll get worse next round as more smoke starts to fill the area. Um, oh, how I wish I had certain tomaturgical stuff now. Um, right, weather control, the best. <laughs> Let's see. They're not um, those guys are going to 
let's see. Let me describe what we're doing this. Um, a motherfucker who's obviously a Nosferatu is moving behind one of the vans. Um, there is the guy that Salvador shot in the head is in slinging a great axe from his back and he's stalking towards the building. Um, Mine. <laughs> um, one of the fuckers but a van pulls out, uh, he pulls out, he's got a hockey mask on and he pulls out a chainsaw from the back of the van and revs it and starts he's basically taking a chainsaw and he's walking they're both doing defense factions walking towards the uh, building um, then there is another fucker goes behind the van a different van disappears um, um and then there's another guy who, uh, not looking quite as confident about this as the other fuckers, takes out a uh, a knife in one hand, and a stake in the other hand, and he's uh, he's mo he's doing defensive move forward, to put it bluntly. So three of them are moving towards. One of them's got a huge great axe. One of them has a chainsaw, and the last one's for like a knife and a stake. Uh, they're all going defensive, and two fuckers go behind vans out of view. Um, so let's see then we have Dr. Doolittle has to declare um doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna swarm the uh okay this is what I can see I can see these three individuals uh, uh, approaching the building right mm -hmm. yep I'm going to assume that a lot of the other uh, combatants who were storming before have already disappeared or are about to disappear into the building below, They're right? about to disappear into the building below, yeah. Okay, um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and concentrate my flock of seagulls on those three particular individuals, the knife, the chain, and the great axe. I'm going to make sure that they stay far away from us. They're taking penalties for offensive action. We'll do it that way. Uh, right. Because they're going to advance, they're you know they are, they're fully blood buffed up, Kendrick. Some birds aren't going to uh, necessarily stop them unless I start going into really awkward details about pose rolls and the progress. So I was like, yeah, they're taking a dice from <laughs> defensive, which could fuck them up. Um, All right. Um, and with any of the rest of the birds, um, yeah, yeah, same thing with the uh, shell heads that seem to be approaching. Sound good? Uh, so what are they doing to the shell heads? Um. Do the same thing. Hamper their movement. Oh, okay. Well, if you're splitting it up with those guys too, that's going to be less of a penalty for the, for the guys. Um, Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's, it, it's obvious to say there are obfuscated people walk around. Obfuscated people are doing obfuscated things. Most yep, towards the building. Um, oh, hey, speaking of obfuscated people doing obfuscated things heading towards the building, I have Auspects 5 and a mirror. Well, you need to start using your Auspects 5. So, uh, okay. how much obfuscation do they have? We'll, we'll get to that one if people have to spend their, uh, you know, basically specifically doing it. The prince will be specifically doing it this round, and we'll yeah. get it on his turn. Um, yeah. Let's see. Now, other things that are going on. There is a guy in. I can't remember what the description for armor class 4 is, but there's a guy in armor class 4. Stuff, flak vest. A flak vest, and, like, he has a helmet and stuff. There are shadows clinging to him, and he is holding a great axe in one hand as he moves towards the building. <sighs> then there is a guy with a sword and a knife. Um, he's wearing somewhat lighter armor. You can see he's got a Kevlar vest strapped on over stuff, um, but he does have armor on his legs and arms. So it's pretty much armor class uh, 3, but he's moving towards the building as well. Um, so, yeah. see this. And Leon Harris! Roll! Difficulty 6, darling. Difficulty 6, is that bef uh, is that adjusted for the uh, difference yeah. between my aspects? Alright. Yeah, I just for... Yep. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, rolled the wrong thing. D12s are a little bit unfair. There's D20s. This is a bit. Oh, look at that difficulty six. Look at all these 
Look at all these successes I got. Um, yeah, yeah, you can totally see. Um, there's, there's a guy in... Well, he appears to only have a Kevlar vest, which compared to some of the other guys, what they're toting around, isn't necessarily impressive. What does have you a bit more concerned is not just the huge, you know, sword and an array of stakes and knives on him, but this guy, his, it might, it may, well, you've gotten off a cult to know this isn't a gangrel. This motherfucker, his skin has scales, and he has a tongue that's flicking out from between his teeth. Wonderful. And he's... I'm taking building. down the Serpent of Light. I mean, I know the term Serpent of Light, but I... <laughs> what are you doing? At some point, we might have to say the GM went a little bit overkill on this. I didn't expect you to actually just like, oh yeah, we'll totally just... Uh, I said there was two dozen coming. Yeah, you said two dozen. We interpret that as stupid fuckheads. Half of them are stupid fuckheads, but they throw them in first to use a Batmo in blood. Yep. The problem is yep. all these guys are coming, whenever you're encountering these guys, they've been coming on the aggressive, so they're fully blood buffed. So that's why you're like, why are they soaking my little soil? Well, they're going to have a stamina of six. That's a fucking given. Yep. So what is Leon Harris doing? You can see. You can see. Oh, I can definitely see that fucker. And guess what that fucker is getting? Yeah. At this point, it's just at this point, it's well, just a gunshot. But at the very least, if that gunshot connects, it should break his obvious hit. Hmm? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're going shooting, and it's just Salvador. What are you doing? Um, you know, like uh, on the little spot where I'm hiding, when we got people coming in. Just kind of a, you know, like you described, we've got people kind of pouring yeah. in and whatnot. I'd like to just like do a like quick like dash across the entrance, uh, spreading my actions for stabbing the people coming in, and then like gone. Okay. So as far as there are people outside is, people walked in, then they got stabbed, and whoever stabbed it is gone. You can stab one motherfucker. Unfortunately, uh, the well, you can stab multiple actually. You can stab multiple people. The problem is the mechanics of the system. You move, and you do your action, or you do your action, and you move. Because if I start letting... Oh, let's put it bluntly. If I start letting people do actions in the middle of the movement, it's going to like, I move from out beyond this pillar, shoot, move behind this pillar, and it'll be back and forth the whole time. I well, have no... That, uh, does, that does uh, remove the ability to be able to do a running shot. You can do a running shot, but um, you have to do it at the start of your movement or the end of your movement. Okay, fine. Well, I, I'll just use the door as cover, then. Well, the wall okay. as cover. And I'll just stab the fuck out of those two guys. Yep. Using the wall as cover. Um, right, so... Let's see there. Okay, so Salvador first. Which motherfucker were you attacking again? I'm sorry, it's, it's kind of hard to keep track of everybody's stuff. Um, I'm with uh, the people near that are coming around near Harris. Ah. Okay. Um, they will. They will try and dodge. Did they declare a defensive action? Um, the guys who were coming in. Where you? Okay. Cool. Um, one success. Uh, six successes. Yeah, I know. They're trying. Uh, shall I? Yeah, roll really damage. Uh, do you want okay. the damage or the second hit first? Um. Rule the damage first. Okay. Probably will. Uh, probably not, but uh, let's see. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Well, it's going to hurt, I can tell you that. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He soaked every single dice he had. It was not good enough. And he's out. Oh. 
Okay. Um, let's see. Then round we number have two. Round number two. Yes. Seven. Two successes. Two successes. And at least I know when you're counting that second. They don't have enough dice to do. They're shovel heads. They don't. I know. Fire. They don't they're, understand how to blood buff properly. They're, they're, they're still using up my action, so they're doing exactly what they're meant to be yeah. there. But I mm. can't avoid having extra people popping shit at us and shipping us down when oh, we have God. actual real guys around. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, if I can get rid of them, I, I need to get rid of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that guy is ashed. <laughs> that minion rules. Uh, you're just hitting him with a normal weapon, aren't you? No, I'm hitting them with my knife. Oh, you're hit well, you're hitting with your non-burning blade weapon. My non-burning blade weapon, that's being reserved for the other fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, right, that means, yeah, motherfuckers moving forward, including the snake-tongued bastard. Um, then there is Dr. Doolittle having his guys floating up. Um, and then there are the, the Blood Claws pack, I reveal that's those guys, um, moving forward. Um, it's two moving behind cover. Getting their arms get on. Am I shooting at the, uh... Oh, yes, yes, sorry, it's, it's here going. Yeah. Okay, so um, I will also spend one more blood to buff my uh, decks up to six. Boom! Three successes! You will to dodge. Um, keep in mind... He won't fail! You're hitting him. Carry on, good sir. All right. Now to look up. Holy shit, that guy can see me. Holy shit, he shot me. Yeah, all of a sudden, some of you guys go, How oh, in fact there's a giant snake man? How did I not <laughs> see the giant snake man? And you see, like, the tall and, like, he's, like, he's trying to dodge out of the way, like, it, and he's looking at Harris. He doesn't know you're the prince. He wants to kill you because you're the prince, but by God, when he gets to you, he's going to kill you regardless. Yep. Because I am the fucking Auspex monkey. And let's see here. I'm just looking at the weapon damage for the heavy... Six. 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 All right. And uh, do bonus successes add? Yes. Yes. Did I, did I get, how many successes did he get on his dodge? You, he got no successes. So All right. So, nice. so, eight dice for damage. Yay. Oh, wow. That's a decent roll. Yeah. Five. This guy's gonna be armored up, ain't he? Oh, he's 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 got he's got snake skin. Yeah, he's got snake skin. Ah, oh, god damn it! Yeah, no, he's he's he's. Uh, yeah, guys, did yeah. I hurt him? No. Did I piss him off? Yes. And when he uh, okay, he's he's on the burning blade list. Damn straight he is. I'm like shit. I'm gonna draw this thing now. Fuck. He's gonna have to make a frenzy check. Oh, uh, please, please fail, Frenchy check. I'd love him to start killing this. Do it at the end of the turn. Um, okay, Dr. Doolittle, the, those guys moving forward. It, it's Van's turn. Of murder. So. Um, would you like did, to... Uh, did the sheriff actually kill my target, or is he still there? Oh, it is Van. I got two. You got two, that, but there's plenty more for you to... Uh, to fuck okay. up. Okay, cool. Well, then I will fall to get two bonus dice to hit the guy who I'm hitting. Yep. Ah, crap. I forgot to also bonus dice. Never mind. Okay. Um, so I guess I will roll ten dice to hit him. Okay. I shall roll ten dice for you to hit him. What are you hitting him with? You, what are you hitting him with? The sword? Yeah, my sword. Uh, you've got a speciality in using that, don't you? Yep. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a palpable hit. So, eight. You can um, dodge. Reduce that by one dice, D. Yeah, okay. you got one success. Um, so, seven. That's an extra six points of damage. Uh, what's your strength at? Your normal strength is at six, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's uh, I'm very damage. tempted to go house rule if you have ridiculously high totems and you're hitting the middle head. P plus two for the sword, and you spend the point for your potent, so that's adding five automatic damage successes. you got a string speciality, don't you? Yeah, strong arms. Will that count? Mmm... We'll say in this case it's not always going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus your... How much potence do you have? I have five. So it's only twelve. Fren the frenzied motherfucker is ashed. Yeah. Because, um, fuck that guy. Yeah. Um, right. Or if that will try shooting you guys, as I said before. Um... See, so call shot to the heart. Um, no, unfortunately, uh, as one of the shovel heads comes through, the uh, it gets knocked a bit, and the uh, the string snaps, so that shot's going completely wide, and the crossbow will be unused. You didn't? Oh wait, yeah, okay. Yeah, call shot to the heart. He did. Yeah, got that. Um, yeah. Um, then it's Nero's turn. Okay. 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 So there's still a good number of uh, shovel heads still rushing in, right? Yep. Oh, there's plenty of shovel heads. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I want to do something different from what I originally said. Um, I want to take a shot, and then I want to drop the shotgun and pick up the auto shotgun. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just split that into two different dice pools because um, that auto shotgun is out of ammo. So, yeah, i got to pick that thing up and reload it. Three is for the shot. Like, ooh, nice hit. Make a dodge. Two successes. Fender wins. Nice. I'm sorry, man. This yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, okay. um, this, this shotgun still got shots in it, but that's an auto shotgun, so I'm just go ahead and put that chopper, shotgun on the ground, grab up the other shotgun, and then spend the rest of my action, all the rest of my dice, trying to reload this thing. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, the shovel heads were doing defensive, except for the guy Frenzy, who's been killed by this one. Um, so now we're going into celerity actions. So I believe that's Istvan. Yeah, summon the curse of the fuck out of me, so I can't use the narrative actions. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry, I tried to run him over. He was trying to you know, mitigate it. Mitigate it with a curse that is going to have no effect on him getting run over. Ah, uh, what if he'd run away? <laughs> Which he, <laughs> he, was, he was going to, except for fucked up that goddamn check. Um, so... Uh, celerity actions this round is just Istvan. Can I hit another guy? You can, indeed. I'll swing my... Mm -hmm. You have two celerity actions. Go for the serpent. Go for the serpent. You know what? The amount of dice... Hey, people okay with me just marking off two of the fucking shovel heads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely okay with this, because he spent his... I'm just going to mark off two shovel heads. And go yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they, he, he has potence five on each of those blows. Yeah. As well. Yeah, that puts us at 19, and this fan is at 3, Valve Gold is at 2. Um, and I will, if I can, I'd like to end my action behind cover, like if you hit one, hit another, if you yeah. move behind cover. Uh, you've got celerity, so yeah, your last action will be hitting and then moving. Yeah, yeah it'll be it'll be hit, hit one, move, hit one, move, and yeah. Uh, where was, um... 
where was Harris? Was Harris in an elevated position, or was he on the ground floor of everybody else, or where was he? Um, probably in a somewhat elevated position. Okay. Um, the shovel heads. Um, okay. Uh, two shovel heads are going to attack Istvan. Um, oh, that was a attack there. Um, one shovel head's going to attack Nero. Two shovel heads are going to attack Rafat, and two shovel heads are going to attack Salvador. Okay. Nero, what's your action? Uh, my action. Um, I reload the I reload, I reloaded the automatic shotgun, and um, I feel like it's time to you know start actually hitting people. Okay. Cool. Um, so you're just going to shoot the bastards. Like you already did. Sorry, getting confused. It's late. Uh, so you're shooting people or just reloading? Um, did, I, did I not reload it last turn? Oh, you did. You did. You did. So you're just going to shoot the bastards for it again. For it again until it's combat. Sure. Um, right. Then um, Rafat is going to... He's going to divide this dice pool and stab each of the bastards or uh, the two bastards who are attacking him. Um, Istvan? Um, I think I would like to split my dice pool and swing one sword at one and one sword at another. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You... Also, also, I'm gonna blow a blood for Al. Okay, how will the other people run this round? The people behind this wave. Um, they will be ba they'll be basically reaching the outside this round. Okay, well, just in case, I'm going to spend one blood for celerity, and I'll spend another blood for You post. cannot split dice pulls and yes. spend for celerity at the same time. Uh, okay, well, then I, won't, then I won't spend for celerity. I'll just split my dice pull and spend for potence. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, three of the fuckers who are walking... Uh, I, okay. Prince roll last turn, so I'm just going to uh, say it that way and out of characters, you know. Um, three of the guys are coming forward. Go chainsaw, go great axe, whatever. Um... From the globe, globe close. Those guys are walking forward. They're getting to the uh, basically at the end of the round. They'll be just outside, so they'll be able to hack next turn and things. Um, the guy, the two guys who went behind vans, they're moving out. They're obfuscated. They're they won't be there this turn, but they're they're just they're trying to be sneaky. But Harris got really well in that role, so I'm just gonna give it so we can speed things up. Yeah. So um, well, they don't look like they're gonna get get in by this not, turn. Not this turn. Uh, Speaking of light, I assume is close to the entrance, though. He or was getting close to the entrance this turn, yeah. But we'll, we'll let me declare their actions first. Um, Doctor Doolittle, uh, you've got your birds hampering these bastards. Um, um, can I go ahead and start to focus fire on the uh, shovel heads instead of the uh, big bags currently uh, coming towards us? Um, you're on the roof. The shovel heads are in the building. Okay, never mind. Focus I'll go ahead fire and the big bags. Focus fire in the big bags. Try to keep them as far away as possible. Uh, time what is uh, time well spent. Yep, yep, um, yep. Delaying, delaying tactics. Delaying tactics. Right. Um, the serpent of light, motherfucker. How do I put this? Yeah, he is going to be. Let's see this again. Yeah. Um, that has obviously failed. So, um, he's moving to the outside of the building and preparing to go in next turn. All right, cool. Um, the guy with shadows clinging to him, um, he's moving to outside the building. He's preparing to go in next turn, and then the guy with the sword and knife. Actually, sorry, I have to make a check for the um. For the Serpent of Light, actually. He has. Come on, no whammy, no whammy. He. He is riding his frenzy. But he is oh, frenzy. Uh, yeah. That's not a good thing. Yep. I'd rather he were not riding his frenzy. Like... Yeah. He's. Yeah, he's, he's just going to be smashing through the wall, and he will be attacking the nearest person to him. So there are 
Uh, Dr. Doodle's on the roof. Mm -hmm. um, Harris is elevated, so I'm rolling a d4. Um, um, I took movement away, if that matters. You did. That's actually true. That would have been Nero, however. He's whacking Nero. Um, so yeah, he's just, he's, like, it, it, it's a building, but I imagine, what I'm imagining, because factory kind of area is kind of a corrugated steel walls, not going to stop somebody with six, or are you thinking of, like, cement building kind of type thing? Uh, I'm happy for, what do you want to go for? Uh, anyway, he, he'll just dive through, actually, we'll just say, he'll just, he'll just dive through the window, and he'll be, um, trying to stab, uh, Nero. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds good. So let's see. Um, the other two guys work for it. So it's Harris's turn. Well, remember, Nero, that you got Isfab near you. I right. Yeah. Um, I'm not very, very actually. Filled. I'm only mildly. Here's, here's here's what Leon's going to do for his round. He's going to toss the blade to Isfab and say, "Hit the snake guy." <laughs> oh, you dick! His phone will be able to do that next round because he'll be able. To, I would say he'll be able to grab it in, in condition to these other stuff. I'll give it that, but he can't go around changing his actions. No, no. I uh, believe his actions were a stab shit. Mm. Yeah, no, his actions were a stab shit. It's just that it's like here, you you will be far more useful with this than I will. <laughs> I assumed he meant stab fucking shovel hands because they were in the building. Yeah, no, I guess that was what I assumed. Yeah. But he's yeah, got a sword for next round, which is going to be terrifying. Um, Salvador. <laughs> what is Salvador doing? Um, I guess I'm stabbing shit up here. Uh, are you stabbing shovel heads, or who are you stabbing? I don't believe I have one of the specials in Holmes Reach. Um, no, but you could do a move action as yeah, part of your... Um... What what do you mean a move action? As in, you you can do a half move and you can stab. Which given your uh, have you blood buffed your decks at all? Yep. Yeah, you'd be able to go over and get over to any of the guys who are by the wall and stab them, or the snake fucker. <laughs> snake fucker. Uh, or, I am uh, very tempted to go and stab the snake fucker. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to go and stab the, th the, the snake fucking with my sword. Okay. Um, he's not Especially as I've heard the prince it... shout, stab the snake fucker. Yeah, yeah, you're going to, yeah. I, 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 I'll be honest, I really hope you just do really well and just kill him, because he's, uh, he's first next round, we're going to trouble. Um, um, and then those guys are continuing to uh, drive. So they'll be here in a shortly. Okay, five successes. Um, let's see. Yeah, five successes. He didn't do a defensive. Okay, that's uh, two for the sword. Make sure I fall that. That's my uh, six points. Yeah, this oh. guy's going down horribly. Woo! Skin of the Adder is obviously not going to work against Burning Blade, but he One, does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> he soaks four, but Jesus Christ. Nine points of aggravated damage. Uh, uh, uh. Five? He takes five? He's in a very bad way. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, Harris is tossing over the weapon. Um... Was he, were you doing anything else with your turn? Um, I'm pretty much sure that t that would take my action. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Then we've got... Right, he's taking a swing at Nero. Um, I need to work at his... He's not really his thing, but he's, you know, he's, he's okay at it. These are... Yeah, maybe maybe you get two successes, but I don't believe you did a defensive. Nope, I didn't do a defensive. Um, that is merely one lethal damage, because you rolled very poorly. Um, right, so... 
Um, four plus three equals eight. So yeah. I, I love the armor. This armor is really nice. Yeah, don't forget your dice penalty. Don't forget your dice penalty. Um, Doctor Doolittle is. Oh, it does. Guys, moving up. Doctor Doolittle has a chance to shoot at fuckers. You think I'm gonna shoot? That's adorable. Okay, no. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, so. I, 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 I don't know how to shoot a gun. Oh my god! This is it's a terrible fan. knife for me. Okay. <laughs> it's Matt's turn then. Um. Actually, these are two fucking shovel. I'm just gonna mark off two shovel blades. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. All we're gonna, I'm not doing is wasting our time by making this fan roll on fucking shovel heads. If they at least yeah. had like seven health boxes, I'd bother. But they do not have the dice, and they're not even doing defensive. So like, yeah, they are all of the dead. Yeah, the two guys at Isfan are like bug, bug. Um, Rafat will actually have to roll. Um, that's one, two. Three, oh, nice. four. And that is one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Well, take me that one, unfortunately. And rolling to soak. That is, yeah, he doesn't soak enough. He is in torpor. Snake guy's in Torbor now? No, not Snake Guy. Uh, that's attacking the guys who were on him because he didn't know the Snake Guy was going to be charging this round. And then oh, okay. stabbing. Um, that's two successes. Eight successes. The guy does not have enough dice. I'll roll to see if he's in Torpor or Ashed. He is in torpor. He is torpid? Uh, Rafat took out two of the shovel heads. Awesome. Um, so that's going to help, but you know. Um, let's see. Then it is Nero's turn. Okay, okay, okay. So currently there's like three people on top of him. There's, there's one guy attacking you. Oh, there's one guy attacking you, and there's a snake guy attacking you. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Um, snake guy. Um... I'm going to do two three-round bursts. Is that okay? You're going to do what? I'm going to do uh, two three-round bursts. Yeah, that's fine. On the snake guy. Uh, so you're backing off and just going boom, boom. Here. I'm going to stop keeping track of individual people's kill counters and just keep track of the numbers. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. This is going to okay. be a... It's all written down. It's terribly complicated. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be a difficulty uh, five. Uh, three dice initially gets upgraded to two dice because three on burst. Same thing for the next one. So five dice at five dif- uh, two sets of five at five difficulty. Yep. Yeah. Right. Have fun. Let's not make this complicated. Thick guy. Three. Three. So two plus eight equals ten. Yep. You're hidden. Roll your damage. Yeah, roll. Oh, that's a lot of nice damage. Total. Four. Okay. Against anybody else? You still did one level of bashing damage. <laughs> <laughs> You're only five. Look at the amount of our fours, trees, and two. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. That, that one level actually makes a big difference, because uh... yes, yes, he, he's now crippled. <laughs> he's frenzying, so it doesn't matter. But it, it puts him closer to being taken out. Um, right, right, fantastic. Now the second guy attacking you. Oh wait, are you shooting a different guy? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, sh- I'm shooting a different guy. That, yes. that was what I said I was going to do. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Still, you're 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 helping soften him up. He's not in a good state. One, other guy. So that's it. Look at that. Great. Do the damage. 
Not great on that one. So rolling to soak. The shovel head takes it like a champ on like his superior. <laughs> um, that said, we are on to the shovel head's turns. The shovel head on Nero is roll to attack. He's swinging him in a machete. And he got, ooh, three successes on the hit. Hey. I hope you buffed up some seven. I think the murderer Bruja is eating shovel heads. Um, yeah, it is It is a powerful weak hit. <laughs> um, there are two shovel heads chasing after Salvador. Swinging weapons. Um, one of them is barely hit. Um, and he is doing... Oh! Oh, but it's a hit. It's a good hit. A six lethal. Six lethal to be so good, sir. Okay, give me a second. I need to pull up my couch. You know what? I'm going to stop uh, slitting my dice for this country at one hit, because that's how I'm doing the damage, apparently. Okay, I buffed up my stamina by one. And no, I buffed up my stamina by two. Six. Um, uh, three for the armor, two for the fortitude, and the dice. How much did you hit me with? Six. I say. Nice, and then the other one is probably not going to do as well, but you know, it's got to try. Um, that is two successes to hit. That is one, two, three successes for lethal damage. I saw it. Okay. Um, right. Let's see. Um, that is the shovelhead's turn, Don. So, right. I need to make a. I need to pull out the harbinger of scout stats and uh, make a roll for him to see how quickly he can get the ghost there to do interference and stop a horrible, horrible effect that would just be head wrecking for all concerned. Hey. Okay, he's good there. He's good there. So, bad. This is still going to be difficult. It, well, the more successes, the quicker you can get the bastards there. Um, oh, Ooh, that's a good roll. Um, yeah. Leon, you were, you were just hearing just ghosts tearing each other to pieces. I'll tell you what those ghosts were going to be doing this round. They were just going to be using demon hunting on all of you motherfuckers. What were they going to use? They were going to use demon on you. Who the hell is making a huge noise in the background? I don't. Try again. Maybe him. Uh, they were going to be using demutation on all you bastards. Because that's the thing greats have. Yay! It was that, or just completely wreck fuck with your heads and have chemistry going off. Just like just the bats coming out of the rafters. Um, <laughs> Sorry, guys. The <laughs> shovel heads. Um, one of them's going to continue trying to hit Nero. Two of them are going to continue trying to hit Salvador, because you know, they're up. And it's Nero's um, declaration. Uh, Nero's declaration is, um, he's only, he, he's, he's backing up a bit, maybe he's going to take one shot this time. He's not really sure why he hasn't been able to take multiple people down, well, but he's pretty sure that the duck hunting is just not working, so he's just going to go for a one, one blast. Okay. Um, Rafat, okay, let's put blunt there's an awful lot of people going after that leader guy, so Rafat is going to take out his special knife. And who I will give it a roll to see who goes after because I know exactly what their stats are. Okay, he's going to go after two of the other odd individuals that were coming no. out of the same van as your man. I'm probably going to be it for my action shooting another one of the uh, obfuscated people. The guy is surrounded in in, in shadows. Rafat yes. will be stabbing with his special knife. His other special knife. Okay. Um. That means we're on to it. Those are fat doing that. And Istvan. Okay. <clears throat> I will be. Sword the snake guy! Sword the snake guy! 
I guess I will sheath one of my swords and pick up the one he threw to me off the ground. Yeah. And take movement towards the snake and try to stab him. And I'll activate potency and celerity. I'll okay. spend three blood, so I'll spend two on celerity, one on potency. Okay. Um, right. Let's see. We have to check out the um, okay. From the blood claws, that guy's moving up. Um, the guy with the great axe from the blood claws, um, he's gonna. Yeah, they're gonna try and help the help the boss man. So he's gonna come in and um, he'll try and wail on Istvan. Um, don't worry, he doesn't have any problems. Um, uh, there is, yeah, there is a guy moving into the building defensively who had, with the chainsaw, um, he is spending blood for potence and celerity. Okay, he's a priority target. Um, yeah. Oh, snap! Um, so yeah, he's 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 going. He, he uh, with his celerity actions, he's going after Harris. Fuck. I just need to make notes because there's an awful lot of guys here. Um, on the plus side. Almost everyone, all of the Sabbat are in the building now, and the other ones are coming soon. So you'll be able to clear them out, or your characters will be dead, and it won't be their problem soon enough. Um, then, yeah, that guy's obfuscated, so he's moving up. Uh, the guy with the knife and the stake, um, he'll start moving towards Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, he'll. <laughs> You seem like a nice soft target. He's not the hardest of the bat. Um, yeah, he's he's climbing up the side of the building to get at you. Uh, with 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 that being told to uh, to Doctor Doolittle. So what's Doctor Doolittle doing? I'm gonna knock that guy off the freaking. I'm gonna knock that guy off the wall. Knock the guy off the wall. Okay, we'll get to in a minute. So you are you, are you gonna yeah. You're, what, how are you trying to knock him down? Birds. Birds die by. The birds are just pulling off everybody else. Like going back and smacking into this guy. Like, oh. <laughs> He's getting a hefty dice pool penalty to his climb check, so... And um, I'll go ahead and... Apparently I'm retreating into the building now. The... Yeah. So he's going to be chasing after you anyway. Okay. Fair enough. The snake guy... He's still frenzying. He is still frenzying, but he's riding the beast. So he can direct yeah. his actions. Um, so, yeah. He is going to, for his first action, step over to Nero and How's it going? Uh, attack. Ah. And he's spending two blood points for celerity. Ah, uh, that's dirty. But okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at which point he will just be draining the crap out of you. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Then he's on the fire first. In that <laughs> case, if he's doing that, I will spend a willpower point to abandon my action and just do dodge. That's 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 that's, that's, that's good. That's a good idea. Um. The guy with shadows, seeing Rafat going for him, is going to spend a blood point on potent. And yes, that is a Lysambra, so there's a clandestine. Trust me, it's quite high. Yep, yep, and he's going to fucking wail on Rafat. We're all going to die. Um, then there is the other guy with the sword and the knife. Um, he is going after Salvador. Harris, there's a fucker with a chainsaw going after you. I just want to remind you of that bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, at this point, let's see here. I'm in an elevated position. Are there any windows behind me? Oh, shit, the other group was going behind, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they are. 
tactic. If only they had, like, explosives or something. No, no explosives. Uh, then I you just like, I don't know anybody's generation. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. You know what? I'm going to try and fucking dominate the guy running for me. We'll get to that in your turn. Um, right. Salvador, what are you doing? Hi. There is um, two shovel heads and a much more experienced looking. Like the guy, this guy is holding his weapons. He looks far more experienced with a sword and a knife moving towards you. I'm kind of stuck between finish off uh, Serpent Guy and stab that guy. Stab that, that guy. In which, co which uh, case I thought to myself, uh, why not do both? Because we don't have celerity right now? Yeah, I can split actions. Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll be an extra two points into Dick's territory. Uh, the Ash thing is still in effect. Say again? Isn't the Ash thing still in effect? Uh, it doesn't stop you from blood buffing. Yeah, you've got no. your... Uh, apparently we're checking it up. You, The blood points you have are still your blood points. I was getting that wrong. It's just any new blood points you get are Ash points, and they can't be used for that kind of crap. Oh, okay. So well, you, you have to really husband that shit carefully. Okay, okay, works for me. Um, right, so Salvador is going to divide his action from the command area. Um, One, two, three, four, five, well, six, seven. You're, you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself there, but that's fine because this won't interrupt it. Um, those of you who have all specs going are going to hear a vehicle pulling up towards the rear of the building and maybe even see a glimpses of some heavily armored people coming out. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, those are the only fuckers who beat Salvador in initiative. And they're your family, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> the only people who can beat you. Your brother wants to have a word. I would like to have a word, but these people are interrupting a lovely conversation. If I didn't have to interrogate anybody, we could have a nice conversation. He, he wanted to come in and black bag you and get you on honor for the card, but then, oh, apparently some Nagaraja bitch was causing problems. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And which one was this for again? Uh, that's uh, the serpent. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope the guy is a higher gen than I got to separate. He's so late. Fucking goddamn you people not being available earlier because he totally should have done defense back for his main act. Oh well. Where did my die roll go? I saw a lot of ones, man. I saw a lot of I, ones. I, I saw a die roll. I don't know what happened to my die roll. Well, uh, I saw like four ones of that. I think roll it's it crashed. again. If it if it crashed, it crashed. I, well, there only needs to do like one point. Can can someone else roll my die roll for me? Well, how many dice? Uh, sixteen. Okay, rolling. Um, that is still five, five, uh, sorry, six, rolling to soak, not enough, ashed. Bye bye. Yay. Well, now I just feel silly with his um, fucking tongue in the way. Well, you, you 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 aborted, so yeah. As just as the tongue is flicking towards you, yeah, that blade just cuts through this guy, and yeah, it's um pretty nasty. I'm going to uh, have to quickly reload the hangout. Okay, it's kind of crashing on me. Okay, we will continue on. So, right, let's deal with the uh, let's deal with the is blatantly La Sombra going to fucking destroy Rafat. Um, I can't okay. believe it. 
What? Do you buy? No, he didn't bot. She actually missed her fat. He got a nine. He got a one. It's difficulty seven. <laughs> and I was actually sitting there going, I know what he can do, but Rafat doesn't know what he can do, so I'm not going to... Because I was like, oh, man, if this hits, Rafat's going into torpor. Um, I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what this guy had afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, um, that doesn't work out. Now, oh, Salvador had a... But you're actually... Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I have a, another, um, another attack. Um, One, two, three... Four, five. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Roll. Damage. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, he didn't get a single success. Ouch. Um, he's wearing armor. He's got decent fortitude, and he didn't get a single success. He's got very good fortitude, actually. He didn't get. Success. I, I, I've got to start giving all of my big bads fucking lucky because whenever <laughs> I actually troll and bring him out to the players, it's like, nah, I'm just gonna flub this. But you're good at this. You're specifically started to be good at this. Nah. <laughs> Seriously, six dice, not one success. Okay, he's he's still alive. He's taking serious dice penalties. Um, <laughs> however, we dealt with Glissambra. Yeah, uh, Glissambra misses, but he still spent that blood for potence. So, yeah, like I said, um, yeah, one of the support be cut in half. Um that guy has exceptionally high potence. Well, due to me having to reload the hangout, I've uh, lost my kill counter, um, so I don't know how many people are left. Um, uh, don't, well, it's kind of hard to take. I've a lost to track. Fight. It's hard. Yeah, it's very hard to keep track. Salvador has, in fact, lost track. Doctor Doolittle is chawing birds at a guy and running down back into the building. No, no, no! As he's going down, he can see. Um, there is a van with a couple of people coming out of it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, fun, fun times yeah. for you. So. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm already planning my escape strategy. The van over there is apparently filled with people, but the vans over there aren't. There's a wonderful flash of insight into your brain. I can get to and the just says to you, I should learn Protean. Why haven't I learned protein? <laughs> I can just turn into a bat and be gone. Fuck these bastards. <laughs> I don't even like this city. <laughs> okay, maybe you do like the city, but it's like, I could No, no, you have no idea, Kevin. We were arguing about leaving the city the scene before this one. <laughs> we like, no, it's today. <laughs> okay, now it's on to the blood claws. Let's see. First up... On doing stuff this round. Ah, yes. The Generalissimo. Right, he's going to be trying to wail on Istvan. Good luck, Istvan. Oh, wait. Uh, did I get my dominate thing yet? Or oh, roll, actually, one second. Let me get you the, uh, the difficulty for that. Um, uh uh, yeah, difficulty of five. Difficulty of five, awesome. Six. Yeah, I'm not one of those people who stats up every goddamn NPC to have They're like, oh, they've all got least willpower eight. It's like, no. No, they no. don't. There's nothing wrong with difficulty five except for dominate's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it willpower really? five. It's, it's the dominate that's wrong, not the willpower. Uh, yeah, uh, what I'm going to be using... So, that guy is actually hitting us, man. Um, let me double check something. Oh dear. Command. Command the problem is, is when it comes to GMs, you get two types of GMs rolls. You get God rolls, and then Fail Istvan, rolls. Istvan has to roll 
eight. Istvan has taken eight lethal damage to Soak. Uh, how much Soak does Istvan have? As this huge axe is coming down on him. Um, well, I have <coughs> six plus armor. So, what's your, uh, what kind of armor are you wearing? Yeah, whatever was in the crate. Uh, okay, well, do, have you been taking dice penalties? Because you haven't been taking dice penalties, it's armored clothing you're wearing. Alright, um, armor clothing it is. Yeah, okay, so you've got seven. That is... Alright, I know I'm using my command for... Uh, that is Isfan getting three successes. Uh, Isfan, do you have a stamina specialty? No. Okay. okay. Um, that means that Isfan is taking three lethal damage. Please keep track of that yourself. Um, because I've got too many NPCs to keep track of anyway. Um, right, the Prince. Yes, Prince Harris. What is what is your command? So I'm going to tell him to drop it. <laughs> and dick move. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, and look at that. Two successes. <laughs> okay. He drops... <laughs> he drops the chainsaw. <laughs> Man, that thing would have fucked you up. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's like, he might still fuck me up, but at least he's not fucking me up with a fucking chainsaw! <laughs> um, right. The guy climbing the side of the building needs to, needs to get a few successes. Um, where are you? Where are you? Not you. Um, oh, the 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 obfuscated people are. They'll be. They're moving up. They'll be able to attack next turn. Um, but this turn, yes. <laughs> he is not built for this. He's really not built for this. He still blow off the hell and back, but he is not built for this. Um, the Who is it? Uh, the guy climbing beside the building. <laughs> He gets one success. He's climbing. Oh wait, no. Actually, no. He doesn't get one success because I've got to take the huge dice penalty he was taking. So he's he's just he's he's trying to climb and he's just kind of going. But I'm a social character. <laughs> we have social characters too. I hate my back. <laughs> I hate my back. <laughs> if we capture that guy, he gets to live. And then it's Istvan's turn. I believe Istvan had... Were you going to attack the snake guy? Yeah, I was, so he's dead. He's so. already dead, but you've got your celerity actions, which would be able to murder shit. But yeah, he absolutely. also has his main action. He just can't um, yeah. attack the snake guy. He's going to to defensive, actually. Stay again. Um, uh, right. Uh, quick question. If he spent a willpower, he could stab somebody else. Quick Quick question: Can um, since I don't have anybody to swing at, is it can I spend blood to heal on my turn? Um, I'll let I'll let you spend blood to heal. Um, that's fine. Um, if your generation is low enough, which I can't remember off the top of my head, if it is. Um, uh, how do celerity the celerity doesn't count towards your gen max, but potence uh, does. Potence does, yeah. Okay, so I can spend two more. Um, somebody rolled a dice. Tell people what your dice pool is, and I'll continue on. Um, Rafatl. Hey. I'll roll it. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. I got it. Um, Rafat stabbing the uh, the some special knife. That's a good yeah. stab. I like that stab. That's a good stab. Um, and Samra was banking on just. Fucking up Rafat, which I'll be honest, I was thinking like, well, it's time to work out a new character. Although it's only lethal, it would just be gun to Um But you stab the Lasombra first, which is kind of the, what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is, yeah, he's kind of defensive. So it's... Rolling. This is ag damage. Ooh. Jesus. Only four. Only four. And but does that poor bastard have any soak? Rolling for his soak. Uh, he soaks two. What armor are these guys wearing? Uh, this oh, guy's yeah. wearing a. This guy I described was wearing a flak vest. A oh lot of, yeah, I remember. A lot of these guys are wearing cover vest, but there's one or two to an armor class four and five because they knew they were coming for a big serious. Um. 
Not everyone, but yeah, that's Rafat has hurt him, but he's not taken out, so I've got to make a frenzy check for him in a minute. Um, let's see. Then there is Nero's turn. Well, I was going to dodge, but that didn't happen, and I had already loaded my action to shoot, so can I use this action to reload and move back? Yes, that is actually reasonable. I have no problem with that. Um, <laughs> right, shovel head. One of the shovel heads is still going to try and attack Nero. Um, yeah. so what, what was this for for Istvan for? Uh, his, 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 his healing. healing. Uh, he's healed two levels of damage. Um, yeah, that is two successes and a hit to hit. So let's see. Um, that is. Oh, Nero is going to have to roll Silk Tree. You've got good armor. You'll be fine. Um, this, this is what this, this is what's going through his head right now. Would you mind very kindly? I'm trying to reload. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Why did somebody teach a Malkavian celerity and then start setting up the primogen for Torian? Uh, in part, I have no idea. <laughs> <There's something laughs> I don't know. I can, I can honestly see. I'll be. I'm sorry, Grace Mark bloodline. I could honestly see like we finding some some big twist that they were actually Malkavians with celerity the whole time. Um, <laughs> the, next guy, the next guy is hitting him, and ooh, that is a good, good hit. Um, let's see if the damage will pull through. Um, it's still this. Oh wait, Kinda. that's two, yeah. two, two for two for you to soak. Um, and then, then we're into celerity actions. Did Salvador Salvador didn't do celerity? He just can't do celerity. Um, Harris didn't do that. Um, let's see. Then you've got ah yes, yes. The first man to act as celerity is one of your foes, who's had to drop his chainsaw. Um, <laughs> he's just gonna pull out a knife. Fucking shanked the print repeatedly with all of his actions. Oh my god, a knife is worse. Yeah. No, it's not. The chainsaw. Not the chainsaw. Not the chainsaw. Chainsaw's, all, chainsaw's a difficulty eight cubes. Yeah, I know the chainsaw would tear to pieces. But as you might have guessed, it's a guy. Um, right, first celerity action for him. Good night, my prince. That's five to hit. I knew you well. Prince, why you no blow for celerity? One, two, three. He's a dead man. Jesus. That's nine. Nine. Nine of the lethal's damages. He I wish I could he, he, loves, he loves that chainsaw. He fucking made him drop his chainsaw. That's like his thing. Holy crap! Four soak! That is, that's still five lethal damage for you. Uh, I thought you were rolling. That was your roll to hit. No, that was damage. Ow. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's a bad man. Um, so that's his first severity action. Ow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right. Then it is. I believe Istvan had severity actions with which to murder. Perhaps you would like to help the prince. <laughs> Who is no. Okay. <laughs> no. If you don't help the prince, Salvador becomes the prince, and he doesn't want to do that today. <laughs> Istvan already called us target. Uh, it's cold. That's yeah. Generalissimo, who's like to hit me. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. This prince hasn't been terrible. Oh, wait, Maybe General I should be. Generalismo has to hit you. I forgot about him. Let me. Let me. Wait. Let me see this man's he has speed too. No, he doesn't. Say, oh, sorry. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, it's your go. Yep. Sorry. Your first uh, attack against the Generalismo. Uh, man, I guess I should hit that one guy. Be yeah. right back, Generalismo. Someone's hitting my prince. Yeah, yeah. I need, I, need to, I need to say the prince. All right, I'm gonna go swing on the guy attacking the prince. Okay. Um. Right. So make your attack roll. Right, I guess it's ten dice. Ten dice. I gotcha. Leave El Duce alone. <laughs> uh, not too great a roll. 
but that's still two successes. Okay, well, he's in no defensive. Plus one uh, for the successes. Uh, you hit him with a sword, aren't you? Plus two. Yep, the flaming sword. <laughs> uh, the flaming sword, okay. Uh, plus uh, six for your strength. Plus uh, two for the sword. And uh, five automatic levels of damage from uh, your potions, which is that button. Oh, Jesus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Thirteen points of damage. Only 13 ag, bro. No big deal. Okay, okay. I'm sure he can do this on his tree soaked ice armor. El Duce is a dead in which case, I'd like to explain how it's like, can at least my one second as uh, Istvan dives across the room, turns the guy into red mist, and then comes back and says, sorry, where were we? Now before we get to one, let's see, he was in there. So, uh, that guy said, so yeah, we're back to Istvan. Yeah. Like, you have the okay. best well, now, now, now the Generalissimo can can get a little taste of the sword. I'm so glad I tossed him that sword. That was my best move all night. <laughs> Besides the drop chainsaw. Yeah, like that and the that and the drop it. It was like, you fucker, you made me drop my favorite chainsaw. I'm gonna stab you. Whoosh. Okay, so right, um. Yeah, it's fine. dice to uh, hit generally slow. And rolling. Um, once again, uh, all around. Full successes. <laughs> um, full successes. Three carry over, plus two for the sword, plus. If this man will probably spray. be unhappy to find that the, the nice, pretty flames that are butchering the crap out of everything. Um, the charges are all used up with this hit. Uh, it's only lethal now. Unfortunately, no successes on the damage roll, but that still has five automatic levels from the potions. Oh, that is bullshit. How much does he take? He takes one. <laughs> that is bullshit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, Whoa. But yeah, first you got all this back. Sorry, team. You know, I couldn't that, get the that, job done. That is four nines in a row. The 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 Priscus might be an evil, cruel bastard, and just like, ah, oh, yeah, totally. I'll, yeah, no, you guys should totally go forward that plan. And when you get knocked out, I'm just gonna have guys cast Knowing Stone, and then fucking storm wherever the fuck they're storing you. Cause I completely forgot that they they had access to necromancy and could just Knowing Stone location. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of yep. answers. Um So yeah, it is a bit unfortunate. But let's see. That is um, okay. I believe we're on to a new round. So there's the shovel heads will continue to hit Salvador and Nero. <laughs> Just going for it. They're going for it. Uh, actually, that Ventru has to roll his self control. Um, that's one person. Shellheads, do you mind? I'm busy. I'll that get right is to you. Frenzying. Oh, d doesn't the uh, Lissabra also have to make a self control check? Uh, no, he's to make an instinct check. Even better. This, group, this group is very um, heavy on two particular disciplines. Oh, wait. Uh, where did I want to. Uh, he is. He, he oh, is. Yeah, he's he not again. Yeah, he's on Path of Cain. I love how most of these guys are on Path of Cain. It's awesome. Um, it's like, yeah, he's ready as beast. Taste the beast. Okay, uh, unfortunately, Rafat's blades charges are, are out. That's right, I made a whole bunch of burning blades, and the worst one was the one I made for myself with one charge. Uh, I, I, that does seem to be the question of do I have any charges left on I my I know plate? how many. No, I'm keeping track. You got the best buck blade, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, it's kind of in handy. Um, yeah. Let's see. So, yeah. Uh, Nero, what's Nero doing? 
Um, there, there's still shelf heads around, right? There's a shovel head that's constantly attacking you. He's been fucking on you for ages. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking riot armor. There's like, uh, I'm, I'm looking at this guy. I'm looking at him, and man, you're so, man, you are so pitiful. You just like old yeller. I'm not going to be able to look at you probably now. <laughs> Wait. That's more. I'm sorry. It's it's like half two in the morning here. What are you doing? I, I'm shooting. I'm shooting him. Shoot. He's going to put him down like old yellow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Frenzying the Sombra. The fuck is your back going to do? Right. Um, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I can't remember this guy's generation, so I'm going to take a chance at Ravat and try and dominate him to uh, kill the guy in Salvador. Actually, just dominate him. To, uh, yeah, kill the guy in Salvador. Um, which I will check when I get to Rafatsko if he survives that long. Actually, no, that won't fucking help him because your man will have attacked by then. So seeing the dent at the wall, Rafat is going to divide his dice between defensive fool, evenly between defensive and attack. Actually, six towards offensive. Um, because that might mitigate the blow somewhat. Um, right. The Generalissimo is displeased with this man and will continue to wail upon him. Unfortunately, this turn is the turn where, well, oh, wait, we're looking for thing. Um, um, yeah, a certain Nasferatu from the Blood Claws is going to be, um, he'll be jumping on. Actually, he's he's going to be shooting. Um, yeah, he'll be shooting Doolittle in the head. Fair enough. He knows what you're fucking doing. Um, that is him doing that. Uh, so Champers is doing that. Um, Gen Releasimo said he's attacking. El Duce, poor El Duce. Um, El Duce got ashed. <laughs> um, you will not be getting an ambush. Uh, there will be diving towards Salvador. Um, there is a thing with horns, like a bull's horns, and it's kind of got patches of scales and fur all over it, and it's got claws, and it's just diving towards Salvador and Jaws. Minotaur! His name's Minotaur. Um, mm -hmm. Right, so he's attacking Minotaur. He's attacking Salvador. Um, and then the guy chasing after Doolittle, Plato, is going to continue chasing after Doolittle. Or he's going to be trying to climb up. To put it bluntly. Um, then we have Doolittle. What's Doolittle doing? Okay. I imagine I'm on some kind of railing, I take it, right? Above the uh, uh, factory floor? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, this is... My, I'm going to say goodbye-bye to some of my humanity tonight. Okay, fine. But fair enough. Um, oh, man. You, you, you're going to fix anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, targets of opportunity below me. Who can I dive bomb? That's, that's, that's all I plan to do. I plan to just step on the railing, jump off, 
try to tackle the nearest person I can see. I'm just checking. Did I get skipped? Um, I will have to get you to declare in a second, then, good sir. Uh, this, this is true. I did skip your yeah. declaration. Um, you could totally dive on um, the guy diving for Salvador, actually. Edge of hands! It is Spitting blood on dex and strength. Yep, that's fine. Uh, sorry, what's Isfan doing? Um, I'm back. What is Isfan doing? Uh, Istvan will be... Uh, can I throw the Generalissimo at somebody else? You can't throw him at other people. You don't have a hold of him. <laughs> okay. Um, I Can I um, carry his attack with my own... You can, yeah. Okay, uh, I will be spinning a blood for celerity and a blood for potence. I'm keeping track. I know where I'm at. Yeah, if you get towards hungry, you're going to start making checks because there's a lot of blood spattered across this place. Sounds wonderful. Um, um, I think I probably got skipped by accident. Uh, no, no, we haven't gotten to you yet. Um, okay. Uh, yes, Salvador will notice there is a... Um, there is what is obviously a gang girl who's frenzied a lot with protein claws and horns um, diving through the air and coming out of Obvious Gate going, Minotaur! Just going to ready to slash the fuck out of Salvador. Um, the Lissabra is going to wail on Rafat, and then the Frenzying Ventru is going to continue trying to wail on Salvador. What is Harris's turn? Let's see here. We've got... Don't forget to heal. Yeah, definitely going to spend a blood for healing. Because, ouch, 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 ouch. Fucking ouch. Um, let's see. El Duce is dead. Uh, I'm going to attempt to... Um, you, uh, you said the Minotaur was frenzying, or...? No, he's he, he is a clearly a gang girl who's frenzied a lot as he's frenzied a lot. Excellent, excellent. So I'm going to try and dominate him to free. Okay, fair enough. Um, Salvador. Okay, what I've got um, quite a fuck ton of people waging on me about now. Yeah, you do. So <laughs> I'm going to take a uh, full defensive action. Okay, cool. Uh, um, I'm going to parry mode. Yeah, I was expecting that. Um, meanwhile, round the back, the knights, errant, and friends are starting to move towards the building on foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is what I was worried about saying. Oh no, nobody's dead yet. I'm really surprised at this. It's good. I don't want people to die, but you know, that's the way things just go. Okay, so knights aren't moving in. Salvador's doing defensive. Harris, I will get you your difficulty. One moment, sir. Minotaur has a willpower of four. This is not oh. terribly surprising. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Minotaur! Minotaur! Oh, look at that! Five successes! Um, <laughs> he just... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to his turn in a minute. Um, so... <laughs> uh, there's a guy... Like worm! <laughs> ah. Yeah, um, guy trying to wail on Rafat. His axe is getting four successes. Ooh. That will be trying to dodge. And getting three successes, not bad. So, unfortunately, he spent blood for potence. So, this is going to hurt Rafat considerably. Um, Ooh! Ah, I keep forgetting we've got that goddamn new path. I should be using that. Um, yeah, seriously. I, kn I know why you got that path. Why aren't you using it? Uh, Rafat is going to be taking two lethal damage. Not as bad as I was expecting. No, no. Oh, wait, no. What am I thinking? No, he got treating. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. He, your man had two, two, two. Sorry, Rafat is taking five little damage. I'm silly. Bye bye. 
Well, he, uh, soak it, soak it. He, he tried. So that was so. That's after oh, soak. Oh jeez. The Lissandra I, I Templar. Who the talk the Lissandra Templar would have potence of five? He doesn't have that high up generation. Oh. He's potent. He likes potence. Oh. And if any guys think that's cheesy and bullshit. There's some amongst you who have fallen strong. <laughs> and I hate no them. way. all of my fights. God damn you all. And they pair with celerity. At least some of them have the decency to have potence as fucking clan discipline. <laughs> Look at you, Salvador, in your evil way. I'll oh, just pick it up as a clan discipline. It'll be fine. Um, right, that's him. So we're fat. in fucking terrible condition. Um... He's going to take a pretty hefty dice fool penalty. Um, right. Frenzy on Salvador. Yes. Um, trying to hit him with his sword. Three successes with his sword. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a dodge. Ah! Schooled. Ah! Okay. Consider your ass school. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's a parry. Um... Dr. Doolittle, um, this guy's going to start running, so do you want to board to a defensive? Uh, can I board to try to jump on somebody else? Ah, uh, fuck it, it'll help end the fight quicker. Um, you, but it'll have to be on the shovel heads. We'll say you're jumping the, the shovel head going for Nero. Alright, I'll have to uh, roll the will to Actually, one one's on Salvador. Nero's only got one on him, he'll be fine. One one's on Salvador. Alright, uh, that's the roll to go ahead and abort the action. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess it's a uh, Dex Brawl, right? Uh, it is going to be Dex. There's more Dex Athletics just to be on target. Uh, <laughs> All right, I-, I can do that. I can do that just as um, easy. This um, is going to be difficulty of eight. Ah, uh, I should have kept the other world power. Yeah, difficulty seven shouldn't be difficulty eight. Difficulty seven. Okay, fair enough. One, two, pounce! Um, yeah, uh, he doesn't have a defense, actually, so, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna say Salvador's there, and he's fighting, and he's parrying the attacks, and one of the shovel heads is about to, like, pounce, and then the gangrel just belly flops onto him. Flop! <laughs> do I do any damage? You know what? I'm not even mad. You That's can roll amazing. for bashing damage, uh, your, your, um, strength... Plus one for successes, plus two for falling from a great height. So you've got whatever you're, well, three plus your strength. Three plus strength. All right, six. Bam. Oh, 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 oh. Um, he That's does nice. pretty well, but he, he actually takes some bashing damage, and he's knocked on his ass. Um, I'm going to say he's not going to be able to make an attack this turn, because he's just like, wah, um, right, that means, ah, uh, yes, yes, Chompers. Chompers is going attacking Nero. Nero, or he was attacking Nero. Yes, he was. Yes, he was attacking Nero. Come on, come on. Roll, uh, Nero needs to roll his, um, Wits Alertness. Wits Alertness? Hmm, you don't say. One, two, three. Uh, this is okay. Let me get to it. Rolling. Oh dear. He's getting um, prospects. We'll reduce if you're using it. That's fine. Um, okay, so he just gets a normal attack on you. Okay. Oh, that's not good. What is what what is what is what just happened? You got uh, ambushed. You you got ambushed by uh the uh by Chompers, the uh the Nostrata Anti Tribute. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Whoop. Um, he, had, he had three, he had three obfuscate, didn't he? Damn. Well, no, it's, it's just you weren't looking around for obfuscated people. Yeah, I was. He was. This is a thing. It's not a passive. All the time. Um, yeah, that is, that is, that is six, six on the attack. Leon is almost losing his aspects. I didn't say he was using his potent, so I'll roll for the potent dice. Um, what? Ouch. That's eight, eight lethal damage. Oh, that's my shit. 
Yeah, fuck your shit indeed, good sir. Oh, shit. Four. Five. Three. Yeah, that, despite the ones. Yeah, that could be a lot worse, man. That could be a lot worse. Um, Generalissimo is fighting Istvan. So he. Take a little bit of damage. Um, let's see. Um, what was he going Yeah, he's. Oh, yeah. So he's going to try and wail on Generate. He's going to try and wail on him again. Um, so let's see. One, two, three successes to hit Esfan. Uh, I don't think this one's your defense. I have ten dice to parry. Oh, roll to parry, good sir. Okay. Uh, um, can somebody else roll my dice stream? It's not willing to work. Yeah. I'll roll first. That is, that is, that is, I'll roll <laughs> all successes. That is enough. <laughs> that is more than enough. Ching, you managed to block it. Um, roll for, roll for, 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 for play -Doh. Um, Plato, Plato's is, Plato's rot tracking. There's just birds everywhere. He got a double one botch. He just all you see is a guy in the background screaming like he's on fire, but there's birds. He's like, ah, they've got a fucking rat house. <laughs> they, they, they're in my hair. They're going for the eyes. They're going for the eyes. Um, Plato's, Plato's just fucking running. That's his name. He's like, but I'm social. I've got the sister. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he is running. Um yeah, Minotaur Minotaur was told to he was told to run, wasn't he? Yeah, I was told to flee. So he's running as well, they're in the same pack. <laughs> uh, it's it's, it's fan was doing defensive, so we're good there. Um Rafet's got a huge penalty to his dice pool. Um oh, he still got some dice. What is the actual What's the penalty for when you're at minus five? Uh, for when you're at five, that's going to be... I think that's a minus two. Oh, okay. That's okay. It's not doing too badly. So, shaggy. Uh, yeah, it's it's once you hit six that you get minus five. Yeah. Ah, it's hitting a lot, um, which is, which is no regular shanking knife. Ooh. Ooh. Three, four, damn, five, seven. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Double check, double check what armor this fucker has. So many guys. Oh, wait, that's the wrong right folder. No wonder I can't find him. Um,. Yep, that's definitely good. He is still up. Yay. Yep. Yep, indeed. Um, Nero's turn. Zach. I was about to kill all the other, but I think uh, Big Dan uh, needs to go down first. Then, and point the shotgun at his head. And you know, you know what? I, I'm I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of angry right now, so I'm just gonna pull uh, a, a cool shot. I'm gonna empty clip right into this guy's face. Didn't say you were doing that. You can't go change. Shoot all the other in the fucking face. Shoot him. Shoot him in the face. It's been, um, I'm going to roll, fine, I'll, I'll roll willpower to, you know, change my action, then. Uh, oh, fine, I need to check out those fucking rules and change it. I'm tired, kill him, go first. Okay, he does it. All right, uh, 16 dies, a difficulty eight, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Who, who the fuck are you shooting at? The Nosferatu who just fucking hit me. Ah, chompers. Good old chomper, so reliable. He's a nice guy. Didn't he know he did a nice charity? 
I, I have a hard time believing that nonsense. Okay. Well, I just spent my entire clip dip into this guy and only got two, two successes. So. Hey, at least it took the head. That's good. Wait, uh, what's the difficulty on this? Eight. Oh, because you're going for the headshot, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Close combat, please head down to he's, full he's, he's fine. I don't it's like, boom, 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 boom. you can see his face just getting peeled back. He hasn't even just... rolled damage yet. Yeah, I oh, rolled okay. Well, oh, sorry. R roll. It's there. Oh, sorry, man. Well, it's nine dice of damage. I'm excited about this, but uh, I'm really kind of angry at this guy. Yeah, you should be. Nah. Not no. cutting the mustard. Nope. Ah. That's three and so it's... Chomp has got yeah, lots. We got lots. Um, so, one of the shovel heads attacking Nero. He's got, yeah, it's three successes. And then rolling for his damages. Are we still in the same round where I blocked? Yeah, yeah, we are. We're getting to the shovel head attacking. Um, it, uh, no. It's not, no. not damaging. I'm not counting it. There's too many ones. He's not hurting. And then one trying to hit Salvador. He got one success. Yeah, shall I just ignore that? I got 13 yeah, dice to block him. You, you got, you're, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Um, did anybody spend blood for celerity? Uh, Uncle Istvan did. Okay. <laughs> anybody else? Um, I think he did that. I'm going to spend Bucky Heal that little measly bit of damage. Okay. Um... Right, so what, who is Uncle Lisfan attacking? Generally Simo, I imagine, is first up on the shelf. Yeah. Generally Simo. Ten dice to hit him. Oh, will bullet. Uh, uh, actually, can I roll it? I'm, I'm trying to get my dice stream working again. Okay, go for it. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh, does that actually? I, I only see four dice loading on my screen, or the rest. Okay, of so them. Uh, I see every one of them. I only I see, see, oh, them. I only see like four dice, and one dice has like a ring. Through. Four, five, six, seven, seven uh, successes. Roll for damage. Okay, that's uh, plus six. Um, plus six. Yeah. Plus two. Well, that's two with five automatic successes. Oh, nice. One, two, One, two, four, two six, three, seven. four. So that's 12. He is a tough bastard, but it's not going to be enough. I'll tell you that much now. Five, six, seven. Uh, is, yeah, is 12. So, he soaks four he's, and takes he's eight. He's in torpor. Four. Yeah, he's, he's in torpor. Let's not worry about him anymore. Uh, let's not worry about him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need big rolls for a couple of other people at the end of the round. Um, uh, do you have any more celerity actions you're doing? Nope, I'll blue for one. Okay, cool. Um, right. I'm making rolls for certain people. Um, <laughs> Pass his courage check. It is unfortunate for the spot that we ran into a murder circle. Yeah, I know what Chompers is doing in his next round. Um, Right. So, glaring actions. One of the shovel heads is going to try... Uh, that that Doolittle jumped on is going to try and grapple Doolittle. Um, one of the shovel heads is continuing to try and wail on Salvador. One of the shovel heads is continuing to wail on Nero. And what's Nero doing? Um, let, let me guess. Uh, Choppers is going to try to hit me again, isn't he? You don't know. He hasn't declared yet. Quick question. Did you say that last round the uh, shovel head that I knocked down couldn't have an action? He didn't get an action yeah. last round. 
Okay, okay. This, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, duh. Because, yeah, I can't fire my gun anymore. I need to reload. Okay. Um, right. You got that. Let's see. You're going to dodge. Rafat is going to be healing. <laughs> and going on complete defensive because that almost took him out. Small choice. He heals. I need to mark off a considerable amount of blood. One moment. Um, considerable amount of blood. Right. So, that is healed up. But he's going full defensive otherwise. Istvan. Generalissimo is on the ground. I'm going to feed on Generalissimo because I'm hungers. Okay. Um, Chompers is getting to act first. He's grabbing Generalissimo and he leaving. That's a smart move on his Don't part. Do that. He move first is it? He beat this on initiative. He's picking him up. He's knocking like, one of his guys to the avalanche. Guess he's, guess he's got him beat on, the, uh, on initiative. That has dominated. Oh, go away. Leave him alone. He just wants to save his pack mate. <laughs> no. He doesn't get to do that. Okay. Then, um, unfortunately, then we've got, um, we've got Dr. Doolittle. There is a motherfucker trying to grapple you. I am going to try to not be grappled by uh, punching this fucker in the head. Okay, that's cool. Um, then, let's see. The Lissambra is going to continue trying to murder Rafat. And then the other Templar is going to continue trying to murder Salvador. What is Harris doing? I'm going to uh, dominate the Nosferatu with a command. Telling him to flee. One, one second. I need to check his... <coughs> Unfortunately, this guy had a willpower of nine. Hmm. But it actually might be this guy has a lower gen than... than uh, I'm going to check that as well. Um, Kevin, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you to clarify something for me, um, just real quick, after you're done with that, okay? Okay, one thing. And of course, I'll also be spending blood to heal. No, 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 you can dominate him. That's no problem. Um, Thanks, sorry, what, what is the clarification you did? Okay, so is the shuffle head that I knocked down, is he on the ground? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I imagined to have happened. I imagined that uh, Dr. Little went ahead and threw himself at this shuffle head and uh, threw him down. He's got him uh, not necessarily pinned, but at least in an advantageous position, so it's in any, any reduced difficulty to punching this fucker in the face. No, but you get two more dice. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, Leon Harris is going to... Be, what is Leon Harris going to tell him to do? Flee. Okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, what is Salvador going to do? I How many people do I have near me that are hostile opponents? Um, let's see. Um, there is a shovel head on you. There is a, another guy who's got a sword and knife on you. Um, there is a guy with a great axe attacking Rafat. Um, there is a Nosferatu who's going to flee. And then there's some fuckers who, well, last you saw were approaching the back entrance and they might be coming in shortly. Okay, I would like to do a triple split then. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use six dice uh, to hit the guy uh, stabbing up Rafat. And then I'm going to use two dice... Uh, my other two actions to stab up people trying to stab up me. Okay. Um. So which one? Okay, you're gonna tell me when we when we're doing them. You got you got to do first. Um. Okay. Now here's what's going to be happening. Uh. Okay. For the actions for. Okay. A man in full on. Basically, armor class five, is coming mm -hmm. in. Um, and he, yeah, he, he's going to be coming and doing a, a, a defensive to see the situation. Um, 
Yeah, pretty much all the guys coming in are coming in and they're doing it offensive because they don't know what the situation is now that they're coming in. They just want to like size up things the first round. So they're all coming they're all moving in and sizing up the situation. Except one um when they when there is a woman, um, which those of who were there previously would recognize as the Nagaraja. Um she is going to dominate Salvador. Yeah. Um, she is going to uh act Hello? Yeah, everyone's frozen. <laughs> <laughs>